Hello. <laughs> hello, hello. Is this an appropriate background? Let me turn the sound down just a little bit more. There we go. This is an appropriate uh, background for today. This screenshot behind me is from Early Strange View. I almost said Strange Town again. <laughs> Early Strange View. <laughs> so here we are. Hello, hello. Hello, Gabby and Jenna. I saw Carmi. Hello, Carmi. And Dreamer, of course. Hello, hello. How are we doing? I'm excited to continue some early strange view we haven't been to early strange view in a minute <laughs> so i'm excited also let me know if my i think my mic is okay it was weird because i i went and checked my some of my settings and realized that my microphone uh my microphone filters were not were not on at all like they were just gone it was like the, the program reset so I don't know how long they were like that. <laughs> I don't know how long uh, y'all were getting any sort of raw audio. The background music loud. Okay. Thank you. I never know. It's so hard. That's the hardest thing with stramming is the, the audio. <laughs> Period. <laughs> oh, you watched the, the first Early Stranger episode last night. Very fun. thought the mic was very raw, but I thought it was your new thing. <laughs> <laughs> being raw is just my new thing <laughs> yeah i don't know i gotta check it more often because there's been a couple of times where like the program does a weird thing and then it seems okay and i was like okay but i don't know i don't know how long it was like that <laughs> so <laughs> yeah we're probably hearing my breathing and every little sound in the room and the echo and <laughs> but see the thing is is i do have I have one filter that I apply through OBS, so like technically there was only one filter, but all the others were missing. <laughs> so I gotta just check it more often. Hi, Gomi. How are you doing? How are you? Um, I updated some of the commands. I mean, not commands, some of the rewards. Uh, today's mic filters are very nice, though. Thank you. <laughs> thankfully, thankfully, the program I use has a the ability to save a preset. So I have like a little file that I keep in my little streaming folder. That's just my filter. So I can just like hit import. Boom. And there you go. They just all were back and all good to go. But it was annoying to realize they'd been gone. So I, gotta, I just got to remember to look more often. Sam, on some videos, you said that everyone wants pets in your families i don't play too much with pets uh it would be rep repetitive so if you don't want animal interest nine out of ten points don't be okay that's an interesting way to do it yeah i've noticed that recently i get a bunch of sims wanting pets constantly like it just fills their want slots and because i love using the wants as like a reason to do stuff i hate when there's just no like i don't have I don't have uh, anything, any sort of prompt, and it's just all like, get a kitten, get a pet, get a dog, get it. It's like, okay, we get it. I guess I could just force re-roll using like Sim Blender, but then it just, half the time it just re-rolls the same wants, which is annoying. I know, I'm pretty sure there's stuff out there that like, adjusts how often the like wants like that, like the pet, do it, like get a pet wants, how often those come up. But sometimes the 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 edit it, the the mods that edit wants, I'm not sure about. Like I don't know. I don't. They confuse me a little bit because it's always like the same, isn't it? It's always like that one same. That one same like file want file, and I don't know how to use multiple ones. I don't know. I don't know if that makes sense. Um. I started for homework as well. Play, play attention school. Okay. That's a good way to do it, too. Thank you for the... Oh, there's a sub. OMG. Why isn't the whole thing showing up correctly? Okay. I don't know what's happening. Thank you, Rosanna. That's very kind of you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the sub. Now you get a little badge and you get some emotes and such. I appreciate it. Uh, I personally didn't notice anything weird about your audio from the past few streams, but I guess now that you mentioned it, you do sound a bit different today. I can't explain it. Yeah, I don't know. It might be 
I think I do. This room echoes a little bit, and it's like very subtle, and you have to listen to it with like good good headphones to really notice the like that that it is an echo. Otherwise, it just makes my voice sound like different, I guess. But I like that idea using the interests for that. I just dropped something. I'm like trying to grab it with my foot. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, so like 10 is an A+. plus. Okay, interesting. Also, hi, Jean. Sorry. <laughs> We're chatting. <clears throat> and I'm coughing. <clears throat> uh, wants editing mods can be very... Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm like... I think I have some, but I don't know what they... Some of them do. For school grades. Okay. Yeah, no, that's fine. And I mean, honestly... It it makes my job easier if I I mean I that's one thing that's hard like when I'm when I'm editing, it's hard for me sometimes to gauge whether what I'm getting annoyed by and like focusing on, um, is is something that most people aren't going to hear through like their phone or just their regular computer sound. You know what I mean? No, you're okay, Daydreamer. <laughs> I mean I think this group of people group or people are <laughs> hardcore simmers with a bunch of rules yeah i lately i haven't been worrying as much about a ton of rules i like i like being a little bit more chill and just doing what's fun and setting up little storylines and stuff you know i feel like i've been moving away from really strong rule play R rule play not gameplay rule play <laughs> not role play rule play <laughs> hi kaylee I think it's fine to have multiple wants packages, but they, of course, have to be in different subfolders since they have the same name. Right. That's what I think I think has confused me in the past. I didn't know if they need to be, like, combined in some way. It's weird. <laughs> hi, cursive. Did I say hi, cursive? Hi, cursive. Um, and not at my computer to check. Yeah, I, I'll have to maybe I'll have to read more about it. Maybe I'll look into it. I like guidelines, but never strict. Yeah, I like to kind of like have a reason or a way. I like having like something in the game that sparks a storyline. Give like it, that sort of like gives me permission to do a thing. You know what I mean? Like when I want somebody to like acquire a cow plant, I'll say, okay, who who should they be have to call and befriend to get a cow plant seed, or like who sh what should they have to accomplish rather than because if I, I you know I don't always want them to have to actually like go through the, the career to get the cow plant. Like I want a little bit quicker, you know, stuff like that. Hi, Arp Deco. Ah, uh, Angie Jammy's Morty in the background, yeah. <laughs> um, some of the want mod files have to go in an actual game files, not just downloads. Oh, see, I didn't even, I didn't even know that. Rule play is when you role play as Yeehaw. Yeah, r rule play. <laughs> also, hi, hi. <laughs> rule play is is a uh, Red Dead Redemption RP. That's <laughs> that's what rule play is. <laughs> I think that wanting uh, want editing mods are installed in the downloads folder. Okay, if you have multiple, but I believe the file that goes in the program files overrides it. You only have one of those. Okay. Uh, oh, my rules are all uh, centered around enhancing or understanding my Sims personality, so they feel more unique. Yeah, I think that's cool. That's one thing I was paying. I um, when I was going around setting up service area recently, I was kind of reviewing. And I think as we've been going around playing early Pleasant View for the first time and like assigning traits and stuff um, for both for both of those hoods, like assigning traits, I've been paying more attention to like specific interests and hobbies and stuff that helps me make a, a more interesting choice. Uh, for what traits they get that also that kind of just helps me, I feel like for me, the traits are like a visual representation of like some some parts of the sims story or personality um and i've been liking doing that more um uh, my rules chaos destruction retribution <laughs> very nice hi savic bella how are you um yeah <laughs> yeah i like i like a good dose of chaos but i also i like i like meeting like chaos and bizarre things like ridiculous bizarre stuff with like somewhat serious attempts at like an actual rotational gameplay like i like i like meshing those two in some way 
I've been tempted to start up a similar again, if only to have a way to have a fun little photo collage of my gameplay for there. That'd be that's cool. That's a cool idea. I know a lot of folks that do that. Um, I like to match traits to other things like personality points, hobbies. Yeah, yeah, and I've been like, I use sometimes I'll I've lately I haven't been trusting the the mod that assigns the traits. I've been using it and then like seeing what it gives me and going, mm, no thanks. I'm gonna do this, this, and this instead. Like I kind of like it for an idea for a starting point, but then I like instead of having to start from scratch, I have something. But yeah, because I am finding now that I've been using the trait mod more, I'm finding more uh, certain. I can see which mods uh, or which traits the mod is assigning most. And it's like a lot of it. There's a there's some that I'm like, I don't want a, a, a hundred evil sims. Like, I feel like that's a special trait a little bit. You know? I finally gave everyone... Also, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome in. Uh, I finally gave everyone in my hood the traits, but it's overwhelming. Maybe chaos and something will make... Will take me out of my control comfort zone. <laughs> The main the main rule I have is that upon every age of the sim gets a new favorite color based on the randomized every day. I like that. I try, I've tried to do that in the past where I'll say, okay, what color did they age up into? Let's go from there when we fix their outfit. I edit their rooms and all outfits to accommodate the new favorite color. Do you have the the favorite color mod? Um, I I, I was thinking about getting that. There's like the mod that's kind of like the traits mod, but it lets you lets you um give lets you give like favorite colors out i think that's kind of fun i find it gives the same ones over and over and even if they don't fit yeah that's the thing and i just some of them i just really don't care for it's like i might as well just use the actual randomizer not the missing traits one i mean it's it's it works well for like townies where i don't really care and i just want them to have something but uh i feel like we're only been getting evil and neurotic exactly both early early gameplay and then the calico I, that's that's the thing and that's why, like, I feel like going around, going going forward throughout some of our, like, gameplay in our next rounds and stuff, it's possible I'll kind of reevaluate some of the traits now that I kind of have some more information on the traits, I guess. And Swiper in my head was too many, so I took control of that. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's the thing. I feel like that needs to be a special one, too. Almost like a, almost like a storyline one, a little bit. Yeah, Evil is like a knowledge sim with zero nice points. Yeah. Or even I like I like evil for like a popularity sim with zero nice points. Like they want to be like a like power drunk. You know what I mean? Like they want to be like a, a dictator or something. They're obsessed with attention from people, but they're not going to get it the right way. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I like that sort of thing. Um, I didn't know there was a favorite color one, so that's fun. I'll have to, yeah, it's it's. I haven't tried it. I think it's one of the ones that has a bunch of different mods that you can add to it like there's different colored i don't know if it's like plates or like utensils that the sims will naturally use that match their favorite color stuff like that i combine the favorite color mod and color outfit they uh grew up uh okay one one uh, is the color they want their room the mod while what they think looks best on them is the color they grew up in okay that's cool i like that town is nothing but burglars yes <laughs> This liked color is the color I avoid all around. <laughs> a dictator. Yes, yes, that, of course. You just said they they want to be a dick. That also. That, that also. Speaking of trades, I bet someone with Kleptomania 1 took the Schnoz's sewing machine. <laughs> I think you're right. I think that, that could be possible. I don't know if the if Sims actually steal stuff from other sims if it shows up in their inventory it must i forgot how many jams there were yeah college radio's got great jams i love college radio station um there are extra color mods oh, mugs that's what it was towels and pencils off the top of my pencils maybe that was what i was thinking i feel like i've seen one for like chopsticks or something like there was something with that or plates or, or something engagement ring boxes yes i did see that one uh oh, the game ring box didn't work for you. That's annoying. I wonder. I always, I always, my first go to when something doesn't work, I think I figure out load order of oh, the default one. I've, I try to look into load order of things. 
and uh, like what loads first, what loads last, stuff like that. I play around with that sometimes. I also look at obviously like conflicts and stuff. I like my mean popularity sims to go around bullying people. <laughs> I I get them to do pranks and pick arguments all the time. Try to get them a bad reputation. Yes, yes. My goofiest but simplest replacements is the is the bar glasses. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, I've been thinking about doing the favorite color mod. It might be just it's just kind of a fun little thing to do, but it's weird because it depends on the household and like how boring or chaotic they are. Because like when you have a very busy big household, it's like you might not have the time to sort all of that out. But then when you have like little chill households, you're like it's more fun to do to pay attention to because you don't have much else to do. <laughs> You know, I don't know. But um yeah. I'm excited to jump into our strange view here. We can we can like probably transition over. I don't know if there was anything else I needed to say today. Let me jump over here. Jump over here. So we are still I'm gonna pause the musics. Um I have this open. Let me just close my tabs. The chaos begins. Let me turn on game sound. I don't know if the other thing was is lately there was like a weird thing with like all the audio levels. Like everybody was saying things were really quiet when for a long time those levels were fine. And I don't know if my microphone stuff had to do with that. My lack of filters was adjust was changing. Like I was suddenly much louder than everything so that everybody was turning their volumes down to accommodate that and then couldn't hear everything else. You know what I mean? So I don't know if how things are going to be when we jump back in here, if I need to adjust some levels because of the filters that I fixed. But uh, yeah, so we're back here. I guess we'll hit play. Oh, my, my headset's super quiet. Oops. That's also an issue. That's also an issue. Um, so... Rachel Abrams is chilling here in our house. This is just a townie. Um, who's walking by? Who is she? She's cool. Xenia Shaw. Xenia? I don't know how you say it. X-E-N-I-A. I'd say... I don't know. I say Xenia. I don't know. Not. Playing hooky and some... Yeah, exactly. Oh my god, that was loud. <laughs> Nut. <laughs> Nut. Also, was that Bella? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> it's Sunday. Wait. Oh, it's oh, I, my brain did not connect that. Xenia, maybe Xenia? Xenia? Z Xenia, maybe. Kind of um when I see Xenia, I think of Kenya, like Xenia. Hi hi Dieter Angela, how are you? We're just getting started here. Samsung. <laughs> Hello. Oh, we got some, we got an oil, oh, oh, you got the rare olive oil with the size fixed. Not oil. <laughs> the un-oil. I also updated our, I updated, updated the 666, um, redemption. There's also a new sound redemption. Thank you for the lurk, Gabby. Have, have a good, have a good day or night. What a day, yeah, day or night. <laughs> Don't go into the dark. <laughs> Hopefully it updated correctly. Okay. Where are you? Oh. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> you like that one? <laughs> you like that one? That was... For those that are like, what the hell? <laughs> and in the Discord, I shared... So I was just like going through sorting out my pictures and I found a couple of pictures I took of the snowstorm a couple a couple of nights ago. Yeah. Um and I was like they look like they could be something out of because I, I remember I was using my flashlight while taking the pictures and I was like it looks like they could be something out of some kind of like horror horror like like found footage <laughs> horror movie or something. And then I decided I needed to edit. Yesterday I decided I needed to edit somebody into them, and of course it had to be had to be Dreamer, because <laughs> Dreamer is just like the running meme <laughs> for spooky spooky sim stuff. So there you go. It's, the pictures themselves are in the Discord under the photos and videos category. If you want a good old good good close look at them. <laughs> 
Calicundian's dimensional travel. That's true. Blobbert could be fun. Maybe I need to. Do I need to go out in the dark and just take more cursed photos at night <laughs> to edit Calicundians into them? Okay, I'm gonna like give a recap of this household. So we were playing this household last time. Um, we started last time we played over. I think it was over at this house, which is Michael Bachelor's house, and he. He w we went, got through him pretty quick because he was just a single sim on his own. By the end, he ended up adopting some alien kids. But other than that, he's just kind of like a single, older, uh, knowledge dude, knowledge sim. So then we moved next door to the Caliente household, which is Flamenco Caliente, Don Lothario, Dina Caliente, and Nina Caliente. Now... This guy's older, but I think he is the f direct father. Yeah, he's the direct father of the girlies. Their mother, Nighat, is dead. Um, and then Don was adopted into the household. He doesn't... His his parents died. Yeah, I can turn the audio up. Um, and the... The thing that happened last time was Flamenco ended up hitting it off with Coral Oldie. Yeah, Coral and him met... And they like clicked and the thing is is last time one of the last households we were playing was the oldie pleasant household and Fl and coral had had figured out the situation with with herb and all of his lovers and she like despises him now and was probably going to be divorcing him like next round so then this came about so now she's living here he wants to marry her I don't remember if we've gotten her... I think... Did we get her divorced from Herb? I think we did. I think we managed to... No, she's still married to Herb. That's the issue that we gotta sort out. I think we need to tell him... We need to get Herb to come over. Maybe I could just teleport him. And then we could... Um, we could uh, get, that, get that going. Who's this? Who are you? Rick Romans. Hi, Rick. Uh, is this a sim? This is a sim blender. This is the sim manipulator. Let's just spawn him because I think if she calls him, he won't come over because they're so mad at each other. I'm guessing. <clears throat> Oops, I just went past it. Hello? Okay, I was like clicking and it wasn't doing anything. Okay, here he is <laughs> with his fake mustache. He. He put on a mustache. I wish I... I need to download, like, a custom thing where I can get, get like, mustaches of different colors. <laughs> so he could have, like, a fake brown mustache. Okay. Uh, break up. We're just gonna go for it. She got him to come over. Uh, ma'am? What's this? This random teen. Also, the, the, the three teenagers, Dawn, Nina, and Dina, are off the lot. Um... Because last time we had them, we had them go like visit a community lot. And then when we came back, we kind of, we were done for the night. So they're still off lot. Um, but I don't have the pop-up for how long they're going to be. Wait, did the irritate have a chemistry bolt? You're right. Insult? Wait. <laughs> Why? Wait. <laughs> Why is insult? <laughs> I don't also, I just found a, a shit ton of old oh, favorite color mods. I'm putting a link in the Discord. Thank you. That's cool. That's cool. Um, I feel like Herb is into it. I think that's the problem. Wait. Now I gotta. Now we gotta do. Now I gotta do it. Okay, hey, ma'am. This who? Who? Rachel, you smell bad. Go away. Rachel, you smell bad. Go away. She's just here. <laughs> he's he's got a he's got something. I think y'all are not wrong. He got something going on. Okay, here we go. Uh, what? <laughs> she was doing the the shielding her eyes thing as she walked out, and then it just looked like he was shocked to see her. That was kind of perfect. <laughs> It's like, what are you living here for, Coral? Coral, no. You're, you're better than this. Coral, you're stronger than this. Please. Break up. Do it. There we go. 
It's happened. Honestly, though, this is kind of like... Okay, there you go. Look at, wait, I need a picture of this. She's looking at him so angry as he's sobbing. Look at this. This is like a storytelling photo if I've ever seen one. This is a storytelling photo if I've ever seen one. What just happened? Hi, Indigo. <laughs> Last time we were playing um, Coral, and so in the past, a previous game playtime, Coral and Herb uh, fell, fell apart because of Herb's... Um, because of Herb's cheating. And then now we're playing the Caliente household. Hi, DJ. We're playing the Caliente household today, which consists of flamenco, um, caliento, caliento, caliente. Uh, then he, flamenco ended up falling in love with Coral, and she moved in here. And he wants to marry Coral, so now Coral's divorcing Herb. So this is like a little bit of our, our last time drama going on here. So Coral has just diverse, divorced Herb. Um, and now she's going to get married to Flamenco. Sweet, sweet consequences of her own actions. Caliento, future baby named Caliento Caliente. <laughs> Caliento Caliente? <laughs> Hi, Danny, how are you? Don't forget about the salsa, about salsa, an integral member of this household. Yes. We need, actually, we do. Oh, you're right. That's uh, my brain. I was like, we need a pet named Salsa. That's literally Salsa is a member of the household. This is the pet. This is Salsa the bird. This bird's name is Salsa. That's who he is. That's Salsa. I forgot about Salsa. Can we name a baby Fuego? <laughs> what is what? Why? Why does that sound familiar? But I can't place what what that reference is. <laughs> um. But yeah. So so yeah. So we have Dawn, Dina, Nina. Dina and Nina are the daughters of Flamenco, and Dawn is orphaned and moved in here so that's kind of the basics for those that are just coming in and like who the hell are these people and why are they here i feel like he needs different sleepwear than this i'm gonna i'm gonna buy him different sleepwear just because i can <laughs> also he's got alien eyes and uh the caliente's got alien eyes because they're they have aliens like somewhere in their family tree fuego means fire okay hot fire okay i didn't know that <laughs> I, I was like, wait a minute, that's pretty good. I like that. Somebody, one of the one of them need a need a fuego baby. I like that. I like the idea. Wait, but that's also so fun because it's like you could just all of the caliente babies could just be like Spanish words, like they could just be things, <laughs> like they could just be thing names in Spanish. That would be really fun. That's like a really fun way to do it, though. So the baby could just be like Fuego, and then like I don't know what other what other s word names. <laughs> I kind of like that. Oh, I wish I knew what his his zodiac is. Crap, I'm gonna have to hold on. What is your zodiac? You're a Cancer. Uh, pajama. I'm gonna buy him a Cancer robe. That's not it. I gotta look at the back so I can tell. Oh, there it is. I don't do this enough. I don't properly check the Sims Zodiac and give them... There we go. See, that's better than whatever the hell he was wearing before. <laughs> Salsa. Salsa Verde. <laughs> La, La Chancla? I might have said that wrong. Cinnamon in Spanish. I don't know. It's... I can't with Salsa Verde. It sounds too yummy to be a Sim. Canela? Canela? Can Canela? Canela? <laughs> I said that the most American English way possible. Canela? Herb, why are you still here? We need to ask to leave. Everyone. Let's get everyone the hell out of here. Why? What are you... Leave her alone. Herb just made, like, a face. I just saw Herb make a little face. Okay, bye. <laughs> Wait. Queso cheese baby. Wait, queso's good. Uh, I need you to clean this up. I think we're gonna... Uh, who left- who left a random pizza slice on the edge of our lot? When did that happen? There's just a pizza slice over here. Half-eaten pizza slice. And if we get a weirdo kid, we can name them Frio. <laughs> Fiesta and Siesta are fun. I'll clean that up. Uh-oh, not Daniel Pleasant. <laughs> Sir? I swear to God. If you kick this over just after- Sir? <laughs> Okay.
And we need to also she these two are having the she hates him too because he knows what she did to Mary Sue. So we're gonna have an argument here too. This is how dare you. Or Cor Coral is going through it right now. She's just trying to live a happy little old life. And here we are. I can't I can't click on him to do anything else. It's her. 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 Why would you think that you were wanted here the way her just materialized? Hi. He just appeared, sir. No, stop. You're gonna get sick. Everybody's trying to knock over our kid. Herb came back for his pizza, yeah. Okay, I wanted to pick this up. And then we're gonna put it inside of a little fence. Oh, we're also very, uh, poor. We do not have a much a mon hay. Mon hay. One thing that I love that some streamers sometimes do is when they use the pictures in the bubbles and try to frame a real conversation around those bubbles. Oh, I see. Like the... Oh, I see. Yeah, like, try to make it make sense. I like to do that sometimes. It's funny. Like, try to figure out what they're saying. Or, like, bring context. <laughs> what in buds? One nut that I love. Streak? Streak nut. <laughs> Need to lock up your trash can. Yeah. I think we'll just delete a couple of these to get a little extra cash and make some space. Let's see, can I just... I'm just gonna get rid of this guy. Put, like, this in here. Can I get away with this guy in here? We're gonna get rid of that one. Oh, that was 200 bucks. Okay, that's gonna give us a little bit to, to work with. I'm, I don't know, should I do... Maybe I'll just use, like, this one. Do like that. I think that's all we really need. So, like, when they were arguing there was a sports ball, I imagine him being called a dumb jock. That's true. I like that. Just calling him a meathead. Okay, let's just hit... Let me just... Lock. Allow household only. Okay, I know Herb is literally about to kick this over in 0.5 seconds, so... We're gonna do this. I'll have her clean up now. There we go. And then we'll have her call an exterminator. She's... She just... I just heard her swoon, Herbie. I just wanted to change speech bubbles. Since I, uh, wait, I, I just missed the, these might change speech bubbles I play historically, but I can't figure out, but most of them are, they're hella creepy. That's so funny. <laughs> I like that though. <laughs> I like the idea of just like, like a cursed mod just that, that just replaces all the icons with just random crap. <laughs> that, that's really funny. I've thought oftentimes about trying to play the game in a different language and seeing how far I get. I think that'd be kind of fun. <laughs> oh, should have read the part ARP again. <laughs> you are too, Sammy. Don't worry too much. Okay. <laughs> okay. I, I was real worried there for a second. No. <laughs> no. Um... I need to continue my creative product, so I'm gonna just be here and lurk. Thank you for the lurking, Danny. Am I able to just like speak speak of the devil? How do you change the language anyway? Just asking for a friend. <laughs> asking for a friend. I think you have to do it a different way, right? I don't know how you do it. Hmm. Maybe from the maybe from the neighborhood or something. Or at the big menu, maybe at the beginning of like when you load in, that'd be fun to try. Did I? Did oh, you're right. I did. I didn't. I, oh no. I meant to get a exterminator, not a. Oops. <laughs> I read your message that I was like, oh wait. I meant to get exterminator. I'm talking and thinking about five different things at the same time. Why did I hit? Why did I hit repair man? There we go. Well, maybe we'll have something broken. Sir, don't eat that. Oh, no. Okay, I'm just gonna have coral. Oh, she's tired. Oh, I wanted her to clean up. Oof. Coral's in a rough spot. Maybe we need to hire a maid. Was it an in Is it an installation thing? It might be. <laughs> I wonder if... 
our PC has any options for that. It'd be kind of fun. It'd be fun if you could swap it quick, more quickly. Just try and like play in, in like Spanish. I've been learning Italian off and on for a long time. Maybe I maybe I need to try and put it in Italian and see what happens if there's an Italian option. <laughs> see how far I get. <laughs> thank you for the follow, Mian. Mian or Mia? Thank you, thank you. Hello, how are you? Oh, the the kids are back finally. God damn, they were gone forever. Okay, he's in there. God, I thought she was pink flashing for a second. I think my. There we go. It's like the lights are like weird. I thought she was. <laughs> oh, thank you. That was... sometimes it does a weird. It does a weird thing where it shows you replying to your own comment, not like the reply to your comment. It's weird. I just forgot Don is in this household. Yeah, he's stanky boy, sir. What are we doing? Oh. Fascinating. Okay. Can we go... Use the bathroom, and then I'll have her go to sleep. Okay, he's taking a shower. Everybody's just taking care of their needs. Are you, like, super sloppy? Not really. I'm gonna have you clean up. Here, why don't I do you... He, he keeps wanting to play with her. Just leave her alone. I'm gonna have you do macro clean. This... Oh, I forgot that he's a teacher. Okay, what? Okay. Well, spamming that doesn't help us. Why can't you just... Okay, never mind. Anyway. <laughs> Have you seen the Italian husky on TikTok that pronounces his bees? He literally goes, a boo boo. That's funny. <laughs> I've seen a lot of different, like... Huskies especially, that, that talk that talk. Oh, you found it. Oh, boy. It's funny having very talkative dogs. I, can they not reach this? Is this like an issue? Oops. Oh. Stop. I don't want you getting sick. Okay. Don does have a, a job also. Have you go to sleep, buddy. This guy's wide awake. What was your lifetime wish again? Have grandkids? I don't know. I don't know if how maybe I don't know who's more likely to have a bunch of grandkids. We've got a fortune sim and a romance sim. Of the girlies here. Hmm. Uh oh. Did it say he missed work? Oh, it's Sunday. I don't know why it would say that he. Or did Don miss work? Did Don? Oh, Don missed work. Don did. Yeah. What are you doing? Why? <laughs> Leave them alone. He needs some skills. I just heard somebody crying also. Let's do some cleaning. What are you doing, ma'am? Should you just go back to sleep? She wants to see the... the <laughs> I love... See the ghost of Dan. It's just Dan. That's the, that's the, this is the burglar that, um, came and set their stuff in their room on fire. She wants to go to college. I'm going to lock that in, especially for a fortune sim. What does she want to do? She wants to dance with Coral. She wants to be, I'm going to lock in friends with Coral. She wants to be friends with Coral. <laughs> it's Dan. <laughs> Man, what I do. <laughs> it's your fault. I feel like Dina wouldn't have only if, only because she wants to make sure she stays loaded with moot. That's true. Like, like locking down a rich guy with a baby. <laughs> Unfortunately, I think that's high box glove. Got an olive oil. Olive oil. I love that there's not one, but two wants to show that a sim wants to see someone dead. Yeah. That's funny. What looks at the other one, the drink. They want to drink him, which is just like the goofiest one ever. Okay, you're you're reading. Everybody's sleeping. I guess we'll fast forward a little bit here. Kids will have to go to school tomorrow. Looking for the hydrate. Everyone hydrate. Ah. Ah. Wow, Flamenco's getting skill points like crazy, man. Okay. 
I think he needs... Do you think Flamenco... I think he needs logic, so... Should he get a telescope? <laughs> I nut, actually, drinking Nutter. Instead of Diet Coke for once. <laughs> okay, butt spot. TMI, butt spot. <laughs> also, I'm glad that you're drinking water. Water is good. Oh, we might not have enough money. What is it? Where are they? Yeah, we'll wait. He can't buy any of that right now. We can't get a... Yeah, we don't really have a lot of options for him to get logic. Leave the goddamn bugs alone or so help me. What else do you want? You want to go fishing? You want to... Can I just... Look, you're a little sleepy. We're just going to put you to bed, buddy. Okay, Coral... Ooh, Coral wants to be engaged to Flamenco. She wants to be engaged to Flamenco. This is good, it's happening. Should they go to like, on some little like, romantic adventure to go get engaged somewhere? I don't know where they should go. Okay, can we, this, the bird right here is kind of a rough decision. I feel like bird should, should why is the bird in the room? I'm gonna put him down here. We don't have a television, we have a bird. There we go. Maybe you could be over here? I don't know. We'll just do that. I don't know. That's okay. The Nutter Butter Cookies! Now that's some nostalgia. I do love a Nutter Butter Cookie. A lover of that Nutter. If God tried to stop me from killing roaches that plague me, I would also be pissed and try to do it anyway. <laughs> True. <laughs> Burb equal entertainment? <laughs> you know. Don't forget that- yeah, I should- I should probably shut it. Uh, well. We, you gotta let Salsa free. Salsa's- Salsa needs to- to spread his wings. Oh, Salsa's leaving. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, he came back. It's okay, he's back. He's fine. He came home. He came home. Can the birds leave? Can the birds actually run away? When I was young, we didn't have TV. We had a bird. <laughs> no, he's like, when I was your age, or the kids are like, when I was your age, we didn't even have a television. All we had was salsa. <laughs> and they're like, so like dancing and having fun? No. A bird. Can the other birds can run away? Interesting. Well, I think salsa is pretty happy. Did they run away if their cage is left open and their food isn't filled or something? Oh, you're awake. Stuff face. How about... You know what? Honestly, that seems correct. That she's not going to make something for everybody. She's just going to stuff her face. I'm going to have Coral serve some breakfast. Oh, she's warming up on the ballet bar. How about you come in here and just, like, use the bathroom? Dina? Dina, please. Dina, please. The birds fly around scare me. Whenever I have them, I get scared by them suddenly popping up. <laughs> it does make me nervous, the idea of just having them roam and free. But they're okay. Little so Look at his little peats going back and forth. <laughs> look at him going. I love how the birds go free. They're constantly flying around and annoys me. I get that. Okay, she's gonna... Here, why don't we close this cage for right now? Thing is, is the sit- Oh, he's, he's eating. He's in the middle of eating. Do you want to? No, there she goes. She go. She just opened his cage back up. <laughs> Ma'am, can we just? Can we close? Play with. Okay. Fine. Fine. Uh, keeps me out that they're an invisible sim attached to that bird. Is there one for the bird? Also, speaking of birds, sorry, yesterday morning there was a wild bird in my house. Oh my, was it like a little one that squeezed in? Y'all, I sent a voice message to my lost podcast that I've mentioned before yelling at one of the hosts to change her smoke to her batteries because I could hear it chirping throughout the episode and they responded that she did. That's funny. Oh my gosh. We need more chairs. There is an NPC invisible sim for the bird, the RC car, and the bots. Okay. I didn't I didn't think of the bird. I forgot about the bird. Oh, there's more chairs out. Oh, there's a bunch more chairs out here I didn't even know existed. I kinda wanna get like, can I Can I put this on an OMSP? Hi Poppy! Hello, hello. Okay. 
Turn on quarter tile. Quarter tile. There we go. There we go. Everybody come eat. Call the meal household. There you go. Well, there we go. Somebody's gonna clean this up. You stop it. You're hung you're literally the one I I cooked for. Come come eat. Come eat. <laughs> this is the most trigger. It's so funny. I heard I was watching something the other day too where somebody was talking and, and it was the same thing. It was chirping in the background. That drives me nuts. I can't there's a lot of people that leave it chirping. And I I can't. <laughs> I have to immediately turn the music down a little tiny bit. A little tiny bit. I know we love the salsa. But she's a little loud. She's she's a little loud for me. As a certified burb enjoyer, wait, I missed certified burb enjoyer sometimes watches those videos for cats. Yes. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. The food the food's arrived. Everybody I like how everybody is sitting at different table, a different spot. Like why do we have three options? <laughs> we have this, this, and this. I feel like we need like something different going on out here. Like I kinda wanna put like concrete down and have like a little a little bar. You know? And get rid of this. Because like we got this and this. I could not live that way. I'm not also, I can put it in the Discord as like a reminder, but would you be willing to do a YouTube video breaking down OMSPs, like which ones you to download where they are in the build mode and how to use them? Yeah, I, I could I could do something like that. Maybe maybe I'd make like a video talking about like popular or custom content. I don't know. I might also just be able to help explain things a little bit because I I mean you can download the the collection. I like to download the collections. Um and this, it has like a little folder where you find them all. Because there's there's an option where they don't show up in the catalog. Um, and, the, and, and they only show up in the collections. That's the one that I always use, so they're not in the way. And then also shiftable everything is really good too. Um, I wonder if I'd be able to make like... I've had people ask me that before for random little things, like at, little info videos. I don't know how, if I'd be able to do that for like an actual YouTube video or like a little short, like a little TikTok or something. That'd be kind of interesting. I don't know. Thank you very much for the follow, Kawaii Mommy. Mammy. <laughs> Mommy. <laughs> there are some YouTube nuttios on OSPs. Okay, there are some out there. That's good. That's good. Okay, the folks. Oh, did they just not go to school? Did every single one of these children just not go to school, or did the bus just show up? Okay, the bus just. I saw the bus go by. He's kind of parked far on the lot. Okay, the ch the children are are off to school. Yeah, why don't we save? <laughs> Herb's personal stash. Herb's personal stash. The canut food of rodeo. Canutio. That's good. I like that. I feel like there's probably a lot of clowns at that rodeo, you know? Well, what are you doing? Also, what are you doing, sir? Aren't you supposed to go to work soon? You literally- did you sleep past your- Oh my god, where's your- where's your carpool? Wait. He- Herb is back. Herb! He slept past his carpool! Now you gotta walk to work. Now you gotta- now you gotta- how, how many times do I have to- Teach you this lesson, old man. I haven't downloaded it for unknown reasons. I download some CC mods every now and then, but it takes forever for my ancient laptop. Yeah. I just haven't. I don't know why I need to do it. Yeah. <laughs> I, l I like the shiftable everything a lot. It's really useful. I thought that that word was similar to deodorant. Oh, D. Oh, I see. The nuttio, <laughs> rodeo, uh, ma'am. No, I assume that the damn guy is gonna show up here. You need to stop. Let's have her just like work on sewing stuff. Also, she has probably stuff to sell. I forgot about that. Yeah, she has seven of these. I'm gonna have her sell a bunch because we're kind of a little low on cash. We're not too bad, but oh, she can make she can make outfits. 
Wait, what kind of outfits can she make? Can she only make... Let's, let's see what kind of everyday wear she can make. I forgot. Michael is late for work. I know, I'm sorry. I wasn't paying attention. Who this? Uh oh, this is the repairman and the exterminator. Hi, guy. Is there anything that needs to actually be repaired? <laughs> What's he gonna do? Is he just gonna- he's shuffling his way in. Where's he going? Oh, my game froze? Oh. Can, okay, so she can only make clothes for herself. I was wondering if she could make clothes- for, oh wait, no, 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 I'm wrong. She can make clothes- I didn't see this. Okay, so she- I wondered if she could make some- what if she tries to make clothes for the- for the girls as a way of bonding with them, and they're just like, have to be nice and wear them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Coral has an Etsy account. What if their father is like, you have to be nice to- to- to stepmommy Coral, she made you this outfit, you need to wear it. And it's just like, an awful dress that they don't want to wear. <laughs> what would she sew them? <laughs> Not so cute! Coral's creation on simc.com. What if she makes them little outfits that match her outfit? <laughs> uh, was you willing to drop a link to one that shows where to download? Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> weak butt spot. <laughs> weak butt spot. What if she's like, look, I made you little outfits like mine. Oh, what else? Maybe, or maybe she will try to make something... This looks like some kind of patchwork dress that she'd make. Like, I want it, I want it to look like a dress that she'd... What if it's... Ooh, you know what I bet an old lady like Coral would make for these girls is, like, some sort of frilly, like, super over-the-top, like, princess dress kind of like this? <laughs> what if she makes a couple of princess dresses for the girlies? <laughs> How about matching giant black and pink sweaters? That's cute. Can I... It looks like I can only choose full-body outfits. Can I do... Do I have... I must have, like... Something. We're gonna have the Sims 2 Machinima prom dresses on. I wondered, like, if there's, like, a sweater dress. Uh, why did it... it, it <laughs> Automod caught the word fugly. Like, really, Automod? I forgot to go and check my Automod settings. I feel like because they're twins, she'd try to make them matching stuff. There's these. This feels too stylish. <laughs> there. I think the knitting mod allows them to make true, truly fugly. So oh, I, I don't know. I don't think I have the knitting mod. Maybe I should. Oh, God. What if she makes some ballet dresses? Hmm. I look at all the options. Look at the options. There's a knitting mod that knits. Only one unfortunately ugly sweater. Clearly handmade, yeah. Hmm. That could be fun. I think Coral would get into that. I like Miss Coral. Miss Coral. Oh god. <laughs> this this is the no cut dress, like where you just use a piece of fabric and you just like wrap as much as you can and you don't you don't cut it. <laughs> she just gives them these. These are kind of a funny little fancy dress too. Deepy Alweb. TPR web. Oh god, she makes some of these medieval dresses. Oh, you enjoy a new hobby item. That's cool. Oh god. This this feels like a homemade dress or something, doesn't it? Does it kind of? Maybe not. Or one <laughs> of these. I don't know about that. I think it's gonna look like one garment that she's made. Oh god. Wait, Cor this is is this Coral's fashion line? The girls are gonna are gonna model Coral's fashion line and it's this this dress. <laughs> this is her second thing she's sewn. The first thing she sewed is her dress that she's wearing right now. I I kinda like these these look like some ridiculous thing that somebody <laughs> somebody sewed for their child. I feel like. I'm just gonna keep picking around, but I like those ones. We could use the ones from Castaways to make it look kind of rough. I don't know if I... Let's see if those are available, especially for the teens. 
Also, just like something simple that looks like a dress she could have made. Not lots of pieces. Ooh, bon Voyage dress. What if what if what if she's trying to learn how to sew things from for Mary Sue? She's like trying to to be a good mom to Mary Sue, so she makes them these dress. Look at this. I like this one with the green and pink. <laughs> Those are too nice. These are too nice. Oh god, these? Or these? These are awful. <laughs> these are pretty rough. That'd be wholesome, yes. Maybe we need to sew something to give to Mary Sue. That'd be kind of fun. We could gift her a Mary Sue, a dress for Mary Sue. Oh, look at these. These are sweater dresses. These These are sweater dresses. So the way that Mary Sue is related, that's a good question, because I, uh, a, lot, a lot of times earlier on, would always forget the connection. So Coral and Herb are Mary Sue's adopted parents. So Mary Sue was adopted by Coral and Herb. So there, this is her, this is Mary Sue's mom, essentially, and Herb is Mary Sue's dad. Um, usually in a, in a plain, pleasant view, the Coral and Herb start in the bin. And if you don't really know a lot about them or that they're in the bin, it, they're easy to forget that they're even like there. Um, so it's easy to kind of not even associate them with um, what was going on <laughs> with everything. I forgot that Coral and Flamenco. Yeah, Flamenco was, um, that was Coral and Flamenco. Yeah, missed that. Yeah, yeah, we ended up, it was kind of a quick thing that happened. Flamenco went out to a lot and these two fell in love and it just happened. I kind of like this, 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 oh God, she's going to make these terrible brown sweater dresses for them. They give her this 10 stream streak, Fox. Love. I think there was a streak earlier that I missed also when I was talking. Yeah, Pingu has a three stream streak. I have just realized that Calicundia is a pun for Vidkin in California. <laughs> I didn't, I totally missed that Pingu. I'm sorry. <laughs> they give her the three, three, three stream streak. And yeah, it was, we originally, we were using the word cund in Calicun in like setting up Calicundia. So that was what it was. Yeah. <laughs> A whirlwind romance. Exactly. I think she's what's she gonna make? The brown one is is perfectly awful. I'm gonna do it. Let's see. Who's this one's for let's say this one is she gonna make them matching brown sweater dresses? I feel like she needs to. Nina Ah, I can't fit. Nina's favorite dress. Favorite dress. I'll just do that. The poopy brown color is so ugly. <laughs> so did he? What's this old man doing? He's just he's just walking around trying to find stuff that's broken and is confused. Is that what's happening? Nina's fave dress. That is like a dangerous word if you don't. Yeah, it is. That's what. That's why we stopped have, using it, um, for butt spot. We used to have butt spot say cund, which I could still, I, I still occasionally add it in for fun. But we ended up swapping over to nut or canut because YouTube got very mad at me <laughs> about it. YouTube misheard. He's just check. He so he's actually going around checking all of our appliances because he's confused. That's so funny. Hmm. I didn't realize he'd do that. Everything appears to be A-OK -okay here. OK. <laughs> yeah, YouTube, YouTube. That was when I originally started streaming and I was uploading my streams to the, my main channel. Um. Uh, but now because I upload them to like the other channel, it's not as big of a deal. Uh, creative abilities. Okay, he's leaving. I'm gonna drag this out so we can all kind of see it. <laughs> Herb is obsessed. We we're living rent free in Herb's mind. My great grandparents were Polish. Uh, when I was really little, my great grandma sewed my cousin and I full on traditional folk costumes. That's cool. I wore it for a Halloween year, and I tell you, no one had any idea what I was. Oh no, that's really cool though. I have to roll a dumb ad again.
I'm sorry about sorry about the, the dumb ad. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering why they switch over when I was attempting to catch up on streams. I have forsaken that attempt. There's so I know it's so hard. So hard. There's so many. Uh part of me wishes I had been able to make a way of like editing down streams into episodes or something, but that's just also so much work. It's super cute. I was like four, I think. I remember a couple people guessing Ukrainian, so they were close. That's cool. That's neat, though. I like that. <laughs> okay, she's sewing away. She's the only one home right now. Her wants are to sell a masterpiece, which I think also if she makes a really good outfit, it can be sold, too. Or like a really good anything sewn that she sells, she could she can make money. Uh, she can make a masterpiece. She also wants to befriend Don. Maybe she's like, I can see this boy. I can see that this boy is showing some characteristics of being a a heartbreaker, and I need to I need to be a good influence on him and get him to not do that. <laughs> she's like, I cannot let him grow up to be another one of them. Can I ask just in general survey question? Are let's plays. 20 uh, to 30 minute video, edited videos dead. I don't think, I mean, they're not, it's hard. There's a lot of people that still really like them. Like, I'm still planning on doing a Let's Play series. I have a new one coming out at the beginning of, probably either the end of this week or the beginning of next week. Um, there's a lot of people that still really like them. It's just that they're, they're, they're they don't appease the feral children of YouTube, which make up a large number of YouTube uh, views and stuff, right? You know what I mean? There's a lot of folk there. It depends on who, what audience you're attracting. And especially right now, there, a lot of Sims kids are, um, yeah, like I've heard from Elizabeth that she's doing Pleasant View again. I'm so happy, but I'm nervous. It's unsustainable for it. Yeah, I don't know. I know that I remember personally I wasn't a fan of it because she put out a video at one point saying let's plays are dead and I was like at that time only a let's play YouTuber and that was a little annoying because it, it just it's not a great thing to discourage it away it's like it was a little bit annoying for the community you know and it was just I don't know how to describe it it was like there was a lot of people that went by that video to to decide that let's plays were dead when they they don't need to be i guess right Oba. if that makes sense okay i'm gonna have her make another dress oh she's gonna go to the bathroom i'll have her go to the bathroom um but yeah i think that there's there's a lot of folks that um longer form content is don't appease the youtube algorithm and younger yeah and like there's a lot of there's a lot of um younger people in the sims 4 sphere and that's where a lot of the numbers are technically at i guess um yeah i personally like i like you said i i like longer my youtube videos i watch generally are longer videos if i i don't always watch you i i'm one of those people that like i don't watch youtube videos for a week and then i catch up on a bunch of youtube videos the next week and then i don't watch youtube videos for a week and then i catch up and Who's running around? Who just ran by? Who did I just see running around? Ma'am? <laughs> Oops, I did not mean to take a picture. Okay. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. But, um... The... I don't remember what I was saying. I feel like I'm all over the place trying to explain it. I guess it depends who you are and what corner of YouTube you're on, whether they're dead or not. Um, I think Sammy's Dream is what makes it, unlike with a lot of simmers, they, they get tired of Let's Plays. But yeah, that's the thing. I've been That's why I had to restart a fresh Let's Play, because I did get tired of the one I was doing, which was Strange View, my long running, which I, my Strange View series was three years long. Um, that's why I'm excited about the new one I'm starting up. And I got a lot of people commenting saying that they were really interested in my, um, in, in playing service area on the, the, the custom hood review, which also the custom hood reviews have been, I wasn't expecting them to be as popular, but a lot of people really like those. And those are longer videos generally. Um, 
I think it depends. I also find, like, for example, the the it depends on how the algorithm grabs things, you know? Like if I have if if you put out a video that says like introduction or part one or episode one, the algorithm just like takes it and runs with it and you get a lot higher attention to that video and then anything after that there's just a drop um unfortunately but if you have singular videos that aren't saying like episode one episode two whatever i think they, they're kind of just average they're okay but anyway <laughs> he's excited about it um i don't know how you can make kind of youtube that's shorter except like you do with clips from uh, yeah that's the thing i think people if they do do short-term content on youtube it's like little five ten minute videos or 60 second shorts those are kind of the options and it, it really depends on what you're making it, the content about and that's the thing is there's so many different types of of videos out there different subject matter for videos out there there's so many different audiences and each of those audiences like digests that that those videos differently and expects different things so it's like so hard to say in general you know um like even on youtube even on twitch i notice like when i there's certain um there's certain s streamers that i watch that because of the nature of their content they could have like a hundred viewers and their their chat is nearly dead like it's very quiet and it's just because of the nature of what they're doing whereas like you know i don't even have half that and we're having a lot of conversation here you know what i mean it's just like it's just how everything's different i guess um also hi indigo star I was, i'll be hiding in the bushes but just want to say hi hi <laughs> i may find this dress again I feel like I missed a lot of messages, too. Oh, there it was. I'm just gonna do this. Okay, we'll just do that. Um... I feel like I miss... No, let's, let's, let's stay stick with them for at least some kind of time. I think she meant the algorithm wasn't rewarding them the same way, yeah. The hard part about that video that said that was talking about the algorithm rewarding them and stuff was that at that time her content I remember had been focused on Sims 4 versus other stuff. Like there was they were not consistently making let's play videos and they had received a ton of new followers because of that like content comparing and talking a lot about sims 4 so then only having your audience built on that and then expecting to have decent attention on a let's play video doesn't add up but also i know the algorithm doesn't like let's play videos too uh i watched all your strange vids all in a row it took me a while i was on maternity leave so i love the distraction my husband was mad i didn't want to watch shows with him because i what's your lp that's so funny <laughs> that's funny this might be close related, but around 2022, I was really invested in the City Planner Plays, the YouTube channel. Oh, City Skylines Let's Play. I, I used to watch City Skylines also. I'm really, I'm, I'm reading backwards in chat, so I'm not seeing newer messages right now. If you're screaming at me, I'm sorry. Hold on. I think the page be taken with a grain of salt, considering she was completely off of Sim... Yeah, for a while. I want to put stuff on to watch. I hate having to find something new to watch. A couple of Yeah, that's true. I like that there's... Certain YouTubers I like to go to and watch their stuff that I already know I like their stuff, yeah. Uh, okay, there we go. Now I'm back to the bottom. We love a nut natter. A, a nut natter? <laughs> Butt spot? I'm sorry? <laughs> I'm sorry? <laughs> uh... I think... Oh. Like any other algorithm can be so random. Sometimes just any random poster video doesn't get it. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, uh, also, it would discourage a bunch of new creators making them, and a lot of people like them. To discourage a series that a YouTuber is in the middle of and just off their... Yeah, because... Yeah, that's, that's exactly it, Daydreamer. It's kind of like there's some people that might take their word as the Sims gospel, and then that kind of hurts the larger community. You know? <laughs> Yeah. A lot of times I get recommended a cat video from eight plus ago years ago. Was it say that's wild? 
my YouTube recommendations ever since watching more machinimas has been wild. Who, okay, what is happening? Okay, I'm not paying attention. Who are who are who are we doing? Who are we? Where are we? Henrich Brook Brooker and Hunter Van Loon. Look at us muscling down here. Look at us. I upload speed builds and only speed builds on YouTube, and sometimes metrics on videos vary widely for no apparent reason. Yeah, that's the hard part. Hey, Nina is flamenco. That's Bella. Sure. Let's talk to. Let's have Bella. Oh, you smell bad. He's gonna go answer the phone. Okay, no, I think you need to answer first. Oh, here. Are you gonna. Okay, he's answering that one. Okay, I don't know what to do with you. You need to make friends with Coral. Coral's gonna give you a gift. Let's let's chat with Coral. Let's let Coral take a break from sewing. The natter a natter is chatting. Okay, that's what it sounds like. Oh, she's Coral's tired. I'm gonna make her a little less tired since it's only 4 p.m. Their their schedules got weird. Glad I've been getting a lot of lesser known Sims to Let's Plays recommended me recently. Yeah, I've actually noticed that recently. I get a lot of like just general like videos that are lower views and stuff, which I think is kind of cool. Um, some of them are really random that I don't even understand why I'm getting them, but I don't know if it has to do with something which- uh oh, are they not getting along? That was not good. Wait, let's do a macro friendly and try to get them to be friends? And then I can have Coral gift her the, the new dress. Hi, Morky! Hello, hello! Uh -huh. This chat is full of critical thinkers, yes. Critical thinking is a very important skill. Very important. Uh, I hope you all don't think I agree with gospel. I just brought it up. Yeah, no, no, it's fine. No, I don't. I didn't assume that about you. I just think that a lot of people do. And... It's hard because there might be a lot of folks who are not... They don't know how to find the majority of the Sims 2 community and really see, like, what's happening in the heart of the community rather than just, like, kind of an entry-level, surface-level spot, you know? I feel this shit. Oh, wait, I read that. <laughs> Run that at 23. YouTube begins just freshly uploaded videos, but it's not related with what I am interested. Lately, I, uh, it's been... <laughs> Cat videos, okay. Okay, are we making friends? We're getting close. They're getting along. Who's who's taking a bath? Flamenco? I didn't see his conversation with Bella. I guess it didn't last long. They all want the burglar dead. They all really hate the burglar. Everybody brought their homework up here. Who's gonna actually- let's- here, we're gonna do what we were talking about. Interest in school. Who's got school interest? Who's gonna do their homework? Don has no interest in the school. And he's about to age up. I think Don probably should go to college, right? Uh, we need to take a shower. Oh my god, look at this shower. How about you? She has even less interest in school. And she has no interest in school. Okay. They don't have any wants to do homework. But although Dina wants to go to college. But like, should Don? What if Don just doesn't? But his his whole thing is that he's supposed to be like Dr. McDreamy. Right? I don't know. Uh, I also have a list of Sims Dream with journals I want to read through. Apparently there uh, I share where I share my gameplay. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. I've never- I've, that's one thing I don't- I haven't deep dived into very much is like that sort of storytelling through like the dream with the, the tumblers and stuff. I get bits and pieces on Tumblr. This Twitch channel uh, and Discord is my first real deep dive in Sims Simulator. Like I'm on the subreddit and the Facebook group, but y'all are way more active. <laughs> we all more. Well, we appreciate that. <laughs> we appreciate that. <laughs> I like the little goofy face that you accidentally put dream. <laughs> I know you met a smiley face, but it's just like creepy face. <laughs> we like you being here, mouth breather. <laughs> mouth breathing face. <laughs> we like you here. <laughs> Maybe Don will have a, a paradigm sh paradigm sh Oh my god. Paradigm 
shift watershed moment to launch him into the med profession yeah something like but he's gonna have to go to college right should am i gonna force him he needs a cleaning skill point why are you down here sleeping oil saving coral from death interesting unfortunately she's newly elder her the father is closer to dying interesting um you need to get up here and sleep you wake up hmm. are they close is these two he's friends with flamenco are you saying we should try and like force a, a death for flamenco for don to save him <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to really orchestrate that. What if what if they don't? What if it doesn't work? Not necessarily. Okay. <laughs> but like, how would that? Uh, why are we fighting? Who's fighting? <laughs> Thank you for that. Our <laughs> the, the cursedness. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, who is fighting out here? The two random boys that we brought home. Are they fighting over the girls? They, they, the girls don't even want them and they're just like fighting over them. The girl, you're sleeping. I know, the lore of Galicundia is a strong. <laughs> Galicundia lore is weird. I was thinking about that, how like... I've tried making custom hoods before, but like none of them have become as strong. Oh my god, they started fighting again. It just ended and then popped back up again. Okay, she became friends. I think Coral is gonna give her a gift. Give gift. Oh, I didn't see what they were talking about. There we go. She gets to give her the clothing. There you go. Congrats. <laughs> now you get to... I think I have to put it, like, down somewhere. Here, hold on. Let me undo that. We'll plop it down in her room. Also, I feel like we need... Is there a lamp? Turn on this light. I'm gonna take out the overhead light. I like just having the lamps. Oh, I didn't mean to hit all lights. Whatever, that's fine. Uh, add to wardrobe. How do we... Let's go here. Alright, Nina. Now you gotta be nice to stepmommy Coral. Homophobic big fight. Or is it homoerotic big fight? <laughs> or is it... Oh wait, big light. Wait, I heard that wrong. <laughs> Where's the, what is the homophobic oh big light up here okay <laughs> I thought you said fight <laughs> thank you for the same game we shall do <laughs> uh, so he saves Slaminko and is invigorated by the rush of saving a life or he falls to, fails to save Flamenco and dedicates his life to try to better himself that's fun are we gonna have a very hands on I'm all for homo running fights. <laughs> I thought you were talking about the boys. <laughs> I was like, maybe the boys are secretly a little, you know. Did I save? I don't remember. I think I must have. I must have. Okay. Poor little, poor little Nina's gonna put on her her big baggy brown dress now. There you go. Congrats. She got nice little heels, though. She got some fancy little heels. I might be, I might have her just do her homework, just because. Just because. She's the only one that put it on the desk. Um, I feel like I like that concept. I think that we need... I think that Flamenco and Coral need to get married. And then, like, on the wedding day, something happens. I think that I've been listening to a lot of dreary fan fiction via the fanfix podcast, so I'm c catching what you're throwing. Okay. <laughs> and she, yeah, no, it doesn't really look bad. I just don't think that's exactly her her preferred style. It's kind of oversized and 
not in very brown and I, just, I don't think she's a big fan what's going what am i hearing these two need we need first of all we need like more lights out here is this all that we have I think I am going to delete this table. I was talking about that. And then put something else out here. But like, what? Boys? What I kind of want to do... I know I'm like doing this in the middle of their fight scene here. <laughs> These are two random boys that, the, that followed the girls home from school. I feel like they're fighting over Nina and Dina, but they don't realize that Nina and Dina want nothing to do with them. Like, I think that's what's happening. <laughs> little, little, little towny storyline. Little towny storyline. If any parents or grandparents are serious or have a family knowledge aspiration, I have them offer to help the kids to do homework. Ah, I like that. I think, I think, wait, but also that's a good idea because Flamenco is literally a teacher. So I feel like he'd be riding them to get their homework done. Oops, I wanted to do a fancy little corner edge. I need to delete this, but... I wanted to do this and then just put down like a little... Little bar. I feel like I need just like a little bar out here. Would also be good for the wedding. We also got a pretty good little chunk of change from deleting that. Maybe we just have like a cute little tiki bar. I'm gonna- I don't want to ruin this interaction. I mean, I guess it's mostly over. I just want to delete this damn wall. Can I get him back in the same, like, position? There you go. That's pretty much it. <laughs> pretty much it. Um, and I just wanted a light. What kind of an outdoor light can I use? I could use this. I have a little outdoor light. I kind of want like a... I'm kind of giving a little makeover, but I want like a glass door. I feel like there needs to be like a glass door here. Can we get away with like a glass sliding door? I don't want to spend all our money. How much? Only... Well, it's 300 bucks. We literally have 400 bucks. Okay. How did my money go away so fast? <laughs> How did I lose so much money? That's true, Margarita, but we could do, we'll do, uh, do a flamingo. Where did the flamingos go? Oof, the flamingos are expensive. There are things in this world the question that we of will ages. never fully understand. understand. And we want there answers. We go. We have worked years to build our credibility. I just like our that, but it's less claustrophobic. <laughs> I don't know. I ask the same thing after every paycheck in Billion. <laughs> oh my goodness. It'll be like an episode of Grey's Anatomy, medical crisis during the wedding. <laughs> we'll have to do it. How? How? How is he going to die? I might have missed... I might have missed um, any suggestions for how. How was he going to die? <laughs> oh, okay, buddy. What's she asking? Oh, she wants to play hacky sack. Oh. Okay, she stopped because she's angry. You are super tired. Go to sleep. She did her homework and stuff. She's gonna go to sleep. Okay, these two are doing their thing. Do you think he'll call in... Get out of the way, Nina. Do you think he'll call in sick? Heart attack when Coral walks down the aisle. <laughs> Heart a nut when Co Nut walks down the aisle. <laughs> you would have to cheat it. Yeah, I'd ha I definitely have to cheat it. That's right, coconut, Co Nut. <laughs> um. Yeah, I like how I, I don't take any credit for the house decor. This is this is the way that it came when I downloaded the hood. The person who made it did a good job. Um it I think do I have a link to there? I think I That's a link to early Strange Town, but they also have early Pleasant View. And I don't think I've put a I don't think I've 
Let me try. No, I didn't do early Pleasant View. That's the creator there. Yeah, Fright. I can do it on the manipulator or the sim blender. Or maybe just the manipulator. Kill sim. And then I can choose. I can do Fright, Old Age, Fire, Drowning, Electrocution, Hunger, Hail, Sunlight. Interesting. Look at this. Ma'am, what are you doing? Where are you and what are you doing? Oh. Literally, this is the- this is- Dina just always does this. Oh, you did already download- yeah, it's- it's fun. I like it. Electrocuted by how- how hot Coral is. He just- he gets real nervous. Wholesome. No attack from old age. I know, it would be really sad for Coral if Don fails. Mwahaha. <laughs> Mwahaha. <laughs> We're, we're planning to a little heavy-handed. Sometimes it's fun to be a little heavy-handed. Why are you awake also? You want to, like, clean up a little bit for me? <laughs> Poor little Coral. Poor Coral. Have a TV dinner or something? Now yeah, we'll have them. So today's Tuesday. Um, we gotta get them engaged. Should they go on a little trip somewhere? Should they go on a little adventure to a community lot? I know he has to work, but maybe he can call in sick or full on retire. Should he? Re I don't know if he should retire from work or not. Coral can't. Poor Coral can't catch a break. You're right. <laughs> yeah, Don needs the motivation. Coral's gonna take a take take one for the team, for little little greasy Donny teen, teenage Donny boy to be motivated to to exist. Probably we'll have to go ahead and, like, have the wedding today, though, just because of how close it is to Dawn's age up. <laughs> oh, as someone who has watched a billion different Pleasant View Let's Plays and seeing Dina play in the bathtub, it's so funny to see her do it as a teenager, yeah. It's kind of great. It's- it's- she's- she's just herself. <laughs> I even met the community a lot, but then maybe realize other vacation hoods still the same in this. Um, I think I don't think I've have I, I don't think I've added any. I think they they would be. <sighs> have you ever done a destination wedding? I've never really considered doing. It. I never have either. E either <laughs> either. I don't I don't know. Can you can you go get married on a on a vacation lot? That'd be kind of cool. Alright, why are you awake at 3 a.m.? I'm gonna call a uh, college and see if she has any scholarships. I don't think she does. She might have- well, she'd have one for her mom being dead. I don't know. The dead mom scholarship? Asking you guys, Merkins, is t TV dinners taste edible? <laughs> Technically, it's edible. There, it's it's lots of um. Apply for scholarships. It's um, I feel like it's lots of yeah. I guess it depends on the brand, but I I feel like most TV dinners are just like full of preservatives, which is just like lots of salt. Yeah, okay, in a pinch. <laughs> they they taste like things, technically speaking. Okay, she doesn't qualify for anything. Do you think it's possible one girly goes to college and the other doesn't? I kind of want them both. Why is there suds? Why are there suds on the edge of the lot? There's just like ominous suds over here. Why are you just sitting in Don's room? She's just watching him sleep. I don't really know what we're like doing. <laughs> I don't know what we're like doing right now. Oh, we fl oh, Coral's awake. Oh, Flamenco's awake too. You wanna here? I'm gonna bring down the homework. Let's have Flamenco do the offer to help thing because I like that idea for him since he's a family sim who's also an educator. I'm 
fuck out. I just looked over and saw moist. Most of the time, the food has the flavor of moist. <laughs> I see. Thanks very much. I have known many dishes that Americans would eat from this game. That's funny. What's she trying to do? Be squeezed. Coral, we cannot be squeezed right now. The children's education is on the line. Please. Please, please. Okay, can we sort it out? Ma'am? No. Oh my god. Not Don. Is Don, is Don technically with Nina? He is with Nina. He's not with Dina yet. That hasn't, like, happened. We also talked about the possibility of Flamenco kicking Don out at some point, but since he's so close to being grown, I don't know that it'll matter. Help with homework dance, yes. Yes. I think it's easier to have the parent do it, because having the child go and ask the kid sometimes is worse, but, I mean, I guess they're both just as bad. <laughs> Having that as the main flavor is so visceral. <laughs> like, if you get certain things that are like TV dinners but aren't like frozen chicken pot pies, those are pretty good. They take 10 years to heat up, yeah. A lot more sodium than needed. Taste-wise, people are better... People? Why did I read people? Some are better than others, yeah. The specific TV dinner from Sims 2 looks like it would probably be disgusting, yeah. I think that one is like the classic, like, generic TV dinner. That became, I think it's like the Salisbury steak one that became popular in like, I, I don't know exactly what, what time period. I want to say 70s, 80s, but I might be wrong. Might be not quite that. Like the stereotypical. Wow. It's the peas, yeah. Okay, so she got her homework done. Um, I don't know what to do with you. You want to get dressed? Here, why don't we use your proper little changing thing? Where's Coral? Where's Coral? Oh, she's out. Coral's out here day drinking. She's it's 5 a.m. and she's got a little. She's hiding out here drinking some some uh, coke and <laughs> what she what's she drinking? She's probably got a little bit of what is it? What what am I trying to say? <laughs> oh, he's having a meltdown. Sir, oh, it's just really dirty. I'm gonna have coral clean. Coral clean. <laughs> I like Salisbury steak one when I tried it, but it's definitely a moist contender. I remember peas being sickening, though in the bad way. <laughs> oh, yikes. Are they canned or frozen? If canned, then yes, you are dis you are disgusting respectfully. Wait. I put peas in my beef stew. I am disgusted. I like canned peas. I like canned peas also. That's pretty much the only kind of peas I have. I mean, I guess fr frozen sometimes, but yeah, especially in stew, I'd use a canned. <laughs> I'm, I'm team canned. Canned or frozen. I do like frozen broccoli. <laughs> I didn't know there was a debate on, on the peas. <laughs> we get a cute oil. Everybody dancing and not cleaning as directed. Because Donnie Boy has ruined it for everybody. I feel like, um... Don, can you just leave? Okay. We're gonna be a cheater and do this because Don's annoying me. <laughs> have some cereal. Oh! <laughs> Trunk peas all the way, but canned beans like butter or beans and such. I don't like beans very much. I only like hot dog and beans sometimes. But I'm not a bean enjoyer. Okay, can you come up here and take a shower? Is this shower facing the wrong way? I think it is. I'm gonna go that way. Hi, sandwich. Everybody, I know. It's like everybody's... Everybody's... <laughs> Everybody's dancing. Everybody's dancing. I have an important pee discourse. Every time I watch you play, my brain goes, I want to play, I want to play, and then I load up the game and realize I have a good bajillion, <laughs> a bajillion <laughs> builds to finish, yeah. Oh no, I wanted him to not go to work. Wait, can I stop him? I stopped him right at the door. He, he, he walks up to the door, makes eye contact with the carpool guy, and walks back inside. <laughs> Just kidding. 
We're gonna call in sick to work. He's not feeling well. He needs to he needs to take his girl quarrel on a little little adventure. She just keeps honking. He or she. Oh gosh, she got she got a wig. I'm gonna have just call in sick. I feel like he should retire. Good. That, is, that 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 person is not real. I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> this is this is a lizard person. <laughs> wow, you sure don't sound healthy. Yes. Okay, we'll take the day off. Who is this lady? Kylie So So Buell. Okay. <laughs> Good tonight, boys. Carpool sim is not real. That carpool sim is not real. Oh. Okay, what? Okay, she's running around cleaning. Y'all going to school? Oh, you gotta go to school. Uh, oh, she goes, ugh. Okay, stop doing that. Look, now you're all bore, all a mess. She's got her, her brown dress on for coral. Dave. <laughs> I have such a love for Don's glorified closet room. It is fun. It is a fun little room. We also haven't really focused on a lot of shenanigans for Don. Like, is he going to start fooling around with Dina? Is that going to happen? Or somebody else in town? He's looking out the window and like, hmm, looks like a good day to drink. It's like a good day to crack open a bottle of vodka. Where is Coral? Well, as soon as the kids are gone. Okay, they're gone. Can I... Um, we'll just click on him. Walk to a lot. Let's go to a visit a community lot. Where should they go for their little engagement? You're from Texas, but my mom is a Midwesterner and her soul, thus the peas in the mac and cheese. Ah, uh, interesting. Interesting. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I'm not, I, I could see that being yummy, but I'm not, I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I like the garden diner in downtown for proposals. Let me see. Okay, we're gonna take Coral. Let's see. Is it... But I have a made-over version of downtown. I don't know if it's the same. Is it the botanical dining? Is that... That's it, right? That has, like, all the... Does that have, like, bamboo inside and stuff? My Westerner blood manifests in the form of macaroni noodles and ketchup as a sauce. <laughs> yeah, we'll go to the botanical dining. Add some canned tuna, basically tuna casserole. That's funny. I, uh... Oh, that was... Did you just hear... <laughs> did you hear his voice coming onto the lot? What a creep. What a grub. It's like... Rrr, rrr, rrr. He just runs by. <laughs> Sir? <laughs> Sir? I'm sorry? Why did, why did he have to make that sound? <laughs> That's the sound that... Yes. The burglar sound should play when Herb enters the lot. My experience with peas might not be compatible with you guys because what I have eaten is not actually the same as you guys, but I can tolerate peas for some point. Uh, fresh or frozen. Okay. Correction, we do not put cheese in there, just the noodles plus ketchup. I think I've heard about using ketchup on spaghetti before. I'm not a fan, but I have heard of it. Bring up peas or a side dish with just salt and pepper. Okay, family... Oh no! Why is it always downtown? Pink flashing engagement? Pink flashing engagement? Oh boy. It's always downtown that does it to me. <laughs> Ooh. Look to you. Ooh. I said look to you. <laughs> <laughs> Put 
putting putting ketchup on the skinny. I know my mom used to do that when she was younger. They used to they put they make the pasta and then they'd put they'd put ketchup on it. I think it was more of a we don't have enough money for everything, so let's just put some ketchup on there. Let's have them have a little engagement moment out here. They're trying to hold hands. Let's go out here, guys. I don't care. I'm I'm stubborn. We're gonna we're gonna have our engagement whether we like it or not. I guess we're not dining, but let's do it. Let's go for it. I feel like we're gonna get flashes of the pink flashing in the background, which is gonna be chaotic. Eye strain warning for the next few minutes. <laughs> Thank you much for the follow. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, I'm so glad I joined ya! Okay, oh, no pink so far. One. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. No pink. No pink so far. <laughs> Sorry, the ketchup. I like that the ketchup pasta. Hi, Dreamy, how are you? I like that the ketchup pasta is, is such a big one. <laughs> I watched a guy at college eat pasta with ketchup and cottage cheese every single day as like a starter for his meal cottage cheese is a lot i could see myself if i was like i'm thinking about like a little while ago when like the power was out and everything was was down and like we couldn't have anything like if i were to manage to cook pasta and i only had ketchup to survive like i could do it but not a choice I had to have so much dried herbs, yeah. <laughs> cottage only with fresh fruit. Yeah, I don't like cottage cheese at all. Oh, okay, just finished the game I was playing. Was, was it... What game was it? Was it the Red Dead? Or was it... Something else. So cute to hear the elderly voices for the engagement cinematic. True, they do have cute little old people voices. Alright, guys. I guess we gotta go home and hope for the best. <laughs> gonna go home. Oh, San Andreas. Okay. <clears throat> Nobody saw that. I didn't see that. Oh. Who are you? Is that... Oh, that's Xanthos Solomy. <clears throat> I'm just, like, not looking at the pink flashing... Oh, that was coral. <laughs> that was coral. <laughs> okay. It was a buffet-style meal plan. He would literally eat as much as he wanted of anything, and this guy chose spagoots with ketchup. <laughs> I like spagoots. <laughs> ketchup and cottage cheese is wild. Because it's like, it's funny, though, because it's almost like a, a, a slight, like, you, you they tried to do it right, but couldn't quite. Because, like, I feel like it's very normal to have, like, spaghetti pasta sauce, which is obviously still tomato. Oh, Herb just went by again. Pasta sauce. Okay, and he's already freaking gone. Okay, well, we'll fast forward for a moment here. Um, pasta sauce and then, like, Parmesan cheese on top. But then <laughs> you turn around and you're like, ah, ketchup and, and cottage cheese, close enough. <laughs> close enough. Are these two sleeping? That took a lot out of these old folks. Uh-oh. Okay. We're just gonna have to reload the lot. Let's try re reloading. My sister had a friend with, who put ketchup on everything. She even had cake made of ketchup. I'm like, oh, you see, here's the thing is I'm a big ketchup eater. Every, every meat, any kind of meat that I have, I have to have ketchup with it. I do have ketchup on all my meat, but that's like where it ends. And like potatoes. Meat and potatoes is where the ketchup kind of ends for me. Just reload and see if, if she, uh, sorts herself out we gotta finish our other dress for for dina <laughs> you and had the whataburger spicy ketchup i have not i don't i've never gone to like a whataburger oh you can buy it bottled oh okay we're gonna need to do a reload <laughs> okay all okay. right it's always downtown i should just not even bother with downtown i don't know why downtown does it to me i don't know why downtown does it to me Every time. Ugh, I won't be that Texan, but Evan love Whataburger. 
what a nut one nut burger not one nut burger yeah i think it's the hood deco i think you're right something about those big buildings something about the big buildings sorry that it blew your eardrums for a sec i should have muted it while it was loading yeah, I think it's like, it's texture memory, like it runs out of texture memory, is that, that's what it is. And I think it's like, if it's trying to generate a lot, like too much at once, sometimes it hits its limit. For like for me, I tend to get pink flashing if I'm generating a lot of thumbnails, um, which when I was doing the thing where I was finding the dresses for Coral to sew, for some reason I could tell it was generating thumbnails with each page because there was a little delay between pages. Um, that I think that could have contributed to it, but yeah, with lowering the view render distance, yeah, it might. I I have mine lowered a little bit. I could possibly do more for the hell of it. My very first memory consuming ketchup was having them on French fries. That's pretty classic. Meanwhile, Keith from TTY guys hate it. <laughs> I have no I don't know what's happening. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It might that might help it. Let's see. Try guy. Oh, try guy. <laughs> TTY. I'm just I'm just I'm just going along with it. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Also, I, I did, I don't think I've heard it get played yet, but I added a new sound alert. Hopefully it shows up correctly. It's it's one that we had before that I had to get rid of and then I brought it back. I just barely today. You're gonna there die you go. up there. I'm Katya. There you go. <laughs> I like Nancy the paper girl in the background. <laughs> I had to do the full clip too. I didn't have it the full one before. <laughs> uh, where am I going? I almost just went to Calicundia. <laughs> no, you're okay, DJ. DJ. I like Nancy the Paper Girl gave it a good spin. <laughs> I had to include the rubber chicken suckling. <laughs> I couldn't help it. Also, it was much easier uh, to. <laughs> To just let it the whole the whole chunk of what I had downloaded just use it. Okay, let's try try this again. Yeah, <laughs> everybody's like, wait a minute, what? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what was that sound? Yeah, I just love how cursed and stupid that that uh, the ending of it is. I should about to remember your gorgeous. Oh yes, that one also. I forgot about that one. Your what is it? Your. <laughs> You're beautiful. You're gorgeous. You look like Evangelista, Linda Evangelista. You're a model. <laughs> that one I could get back to. That house is still pink. That's yeah. It does that with the thumbnail. Um, sometimes if the thumbnail ends up for some reason generating the pink, it's weird. <laughs> I know you probably can't, but can't you care for yeah? <laughs> that one's funny too. I, I, I don't know. That one might be too much. I'm not sure. <laughs> also, Don Lothario, yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, a, we need, a, need a, a series where it's like random Trixie and Katya quotes with Sims 2 pre-maids attached to them. Like, which one applies to which Sim? <laughs> that would be pretty good. Okay, we have survived. I think I might give them a little bit of pity. Because I do kind of want them to get, like, married today. I'm gonna let them do a thing here. I'll let them sleep for a little bit. It is 11 a.m. and they are old. So... Oh! Oral teleportation? <laughs> yes, I, I changed the name of the most beautiful creation and I chose a different um I chose a different a uh, picture for it. <laughs> what is that? 
<laughs> that was a little delay. <laughs> I think I think it's better for me just to, you know, <laughs> it's the updated creation. <laughs> God, Trooper's face behind the Jacob was legitimately frightening. I love it. I love spooky crap like that so much. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I feel like I'm I feel like I'm very desensitized. One of my favorite YouTube type videos to watch are like the ones that are like spooky videos of people that have supposed, supposedly caught things on camera or like creepy stuff. Just like compilations of those things. I could watch those like <laughs> constantly. <laughs> I think I'm a little desensitized to it though. No, Dina's at oh wait, Dina's actually this is that guy who was fighting. Let, let's say, yeah. Okay, she's excited. Coral yelling was a lot. The mop infection popped up. I don't even want to know. I don't know if I want to know what that is. <laughs> Would it seem socially aware to redeem ones I've never heard that aren't relevant? <laughs> Oh boy. It, I mean, I think, oh, you mean like these? I mean, if you're just, if you're just experimenting with them, that's fine. There's cooldowns on them anyway, so you might end up spaced out anyway, but feel free to, if you're curious about what they are, feel free to mess around. I don't mind. Um, especially since you've brought it up and stuff. It's, it's when somebody like, who is just like, never said anything follows and then starts spamming random ones with the because i think when somebody follows they get 300 free points and then they just start like spamming and it's like okay <laughs> okay who's carpool is that donnie boy's carpool yeah okay so oh crap but here's the issue okay Don works till six. Uh oh. Well, I let him go to work. I was gonna have him. Ma'am? She's been through a lot. <laughs> She's been through a lot. Is she okay? <laughs> what? Hat. I don't know. Main character energy. Ma'am, this isn't Calicundia, yeah. Is her hair... What is the... Oh, there's like... The hat has like a top. I was like, what am I seeing? Her hair is orange, so it was like... So, in order for... Should I do the wedding tomorrow? Our last day? Maybe that's what I should do. I'll do the wedding, like, tomorrow and make sure nobody goes to work tomorrow. Oh, he doesn't work tomorrow, actually. I'm looking at his little thing. Maybe. Yeah, the nurse has seen some things. Okay, ma'am. She wants to go on a date. Maybe Nina needs to find herself another little... Isn't Nina bi? Am I wrong? I think she might be. Does she have any other... She has chemistry with Kaylin. What if she just, like, chats with Kaylin on the phone? Oh, somebody else is on the phone. Who's... Oh, this is... She's still talk. She's talking to this boy that came over the other day. Bro, where are you? Drinking milk. Serve some lunch. Talking about emergencies. Beautiful. <laughs> By the way, how many days do you play for a round in your... It depends on the, like, the hood I'm playing and, like, how I want to do things. Right? I, I'm constantly, like, adjusting it, too, which I, I have a terrible habit of changing my mind about how much I want to play. Um, right now, this hood, we're doing... Saturday through Wednesday. So what is it like five days? I think before I did um because I started with like Mon Monday to to Thursday or to Friday. And then I'm doing like I don't know, so I guess five days or so. Um there's some hoods where I'll only do like four or even or even three depending with calicundia i've also been doing five so i guess that's kind of my go-to right now is like five-ish days um yeah but it depends on what i'm doing oh my gosh she's completely red ma'am how did you get so tired how did she get so tired uh oh you rubbed your eyeliner your inner oh you rubbed your inner corner of your eye and rubbed uh-oh. <laughs> Oops. 
I could never... Even when I was younger and tried putting eyeliner on, I could never do it. I could never... I could, it was like my eyes would not let me. It, 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 like I would just like cry. My eyes would like tear up and like I couldn't physically like put something on like the edge of my eyelid. It just would not work. Are you okay, ma'am? I, I think you need to have another sandwich. Coral, just have a sandwich. Just have a sandwich. <laughs> the, okay, let's look at it. Oh, wow. <laughs> Why in a butt got caught by Automod? <laughs> I tried tongs. Can I put it? So that's funny because I used to I used to wear contacts all the time, and then it was weird. My eyes, oh, I'm clicked off the game, so no sound. My eyes rejected them after like several years of wearing them, and I got really good at them and everything, using them and stuff. I got really used to it, and then I started having issues with my eyelids, and they would not, like my eyes would not let me <laughs> let me have contacts anymore. And so I had to, I had to just stop because it was just, which like the thing about contacts is they're so expensive too, you know? And it's like not, it's, sometimes it's just not worth it. I'm going to just bump her energy a little. Let's, let's do something with Nina. Let's call up. We're going to call up Kaylin. Heckin' eject. <laughs> I have unopened contact lenses, but I haven't been wearing them recently. Yeah. You got good at con- I got real good at them. <laughs> I got good at the contacts. And then... Like, there was something with, like, the backs of my eyelids started to, like, react to them. And we tried a bunch of different ones, and it was just, like, not worth it. With the eye doctor, in the best insurance, my dad can get it cost me four hundred dollars that's a lot were you buying like glasses or contacts along with that or just like a checkup that's a lot because like i don't even have in eye insurance right now or like insurance that covers eye stuff and i have to i i have to just pay out of pocket which is why i haven't gone in a while <laughs> and it's like 200 bucks for a checkup for me um, I imagine you're trying to put a contact in your eye and it just falls back into the, into the back of your head. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. Let's just talk with her for a minute. I need to get a new pair of glasses because I'm tired of contacts. My eyes are always so tired. Yeah, I just... Glasses are so easy. I buy mine from... And that one of those online places where it's like direct and they're like cheap so they're probably like not as good but i've never had like issues um the one that i usually use is called zenny but i don't i don't know what how many countries they cover or anything like that about contacts and glasses but the main thing were the stupid blue light filters i legitimately okay yeah so you got like the full you got the full treatment <laughs> contacts and glasses yeah, I want to get some fresh Zenny glasses. I need some fresh new. I've had these for a while and they're getting scuffed. But I I need to update my pres my prescription. I need like an updated checkup to be allowed to buy new ones. Okay. Yeah, the kids are getting close to growing up. Okay. You know what if we? Because that's the hard part. Don's like gonna grow up tomorrow. I think we need to do this wedding. I think we just need to make it happen. I can't get blue light filters because I do art. Interesting. So they you think they they would adjust, they would affect your, how things look. I mean, obviously they I mine have blue light filters and I don't notice like that I see colors differently. I don't know. That's interesting. Unless it depends on the kind you get. Oh, you're excited about it. yeah, I love I love a fresh pair of glasses. Yeah, this is when the drama begins. Uh oh. We don't have enough money. The oh the shop ladies say that whenever I buy new ones. Interesting. Huh. 
But I would think also if you needed to like check the color of something that you would be able to just take them off. I guess it depends on what your specific eye issues are and if you would be able to check colors and stuff or if you'd be able to learn how to work with them. That's weird. The only other way I could think of that being a thing is like if they were trying to say that the blue light's better so you don't have to adjust your screen color to mess up this like if you were doing digital art but I guess it doesn't matter I don't know I don't know if that makes sense Don get an orphan scholarship I think he should I think he should sorry I'm like just sitting here let's try and what can we sell to make enough money for I want to I want to do this the proper way we got to sell some stuff you could sell this random mirror. 96 bucks. Okay. Is this... This is the cheapest? We're going for 900. What else can we sell? What you got in here, Donnie boy? I hate to sell all of Don's fun stuff. What if we sell salsa? Chair in the bedroom. Which one? This guy? 209. Okay, that got us 965. We'll just do this. We just need the this. Okay, they're all nine. Look at like the classic. Look at the classic one. It's gonna be literally dark out here. Not sell so here. They're gonna borrow the lights from the kids' rooms. <laughs> this is our this is our, our wedding lighting. Oh, I forgot my quarter tiles off because I restarted. Look, there's little Z's in the corner of the lot. There's something going on in the corner of this lot. That's weird. Then too much of my childhood in childhood in front of a pewter. <laughs> my mom has eye issues, so it's kind of okay. Um, gotta get to work. Enjoy the rest of the stream. Thank you for hanging out, Sandal. Have a have a good one. Have, have good work. A streamer hiding in the background. Yeah, streamer under the under the surface of under the crest of Pleasant View resides a sleeping dreamer. <laughs> okay, let's throw. I'm gonna bump. We gotta bump some energies here. Uh oh, it's starting to rain. This is a sign. Maybe it needs to. Maybe he needs to die by electrocution. I'm gonna throw a wedding party. Okay, she f was talking to Kaylin. I don't know if her and Kaylin are really getting along, though. My ears are burning. Why are your ears burning? My ears are nuttoning. Not the nuttoning. Okay, these two are kissing. She does want to go on a date, so maybe these two can go on a date, but we probably won't have any time for that. Okay, buddy old pal. I must, I must have you rise. I'm gonna do an ad. I have to roll a dumb ad again. I'm gonna do it before we get into the the wedding. Oh, cause your ears. Okay, cause you heard your name. Interesting. I, is that what's like commonly said, where you're from, to say your ears are burning when people are talking about you? Cause I always hear ringing. That if you if you have ringing in your ears, that means somebody's talking about you. Interesting. My sister just recently got her glasses, well. she spent most of her time on the phone. Oof. Oof. Um. <laughs> you have tetanus. <laughs> Hateful. Hateful. I feel like here it's ringing. I don't hear burning, but maybe it depends on where you are. My ears are, are ringing is usually what I've heard, but I guess it depends. Okay, his friend with Michael. I don't know who's gonna come to our wedding. Uh, he's like not friends with all the folks. Maybe Bella and Marty. Um, I regularly hear calling people. If you get the hiccups, it's someone who talks about you. That's funny. I feel like there's probably, probably, um, lots of different ways that people did that. Here in the South, ears are burning. Okay. Interesting. You know it is burning too. Funny. I know it is as only as ringing. Here, let's let's invite some. We're not inviting Herb. We'll we'll marry Sue, obviously. Sure. Let's just a little crowd. 
What I have heard is sneezing. That's interesting. Which I would imply I get shit talked a lot, to be honest. I've used both. Um, I'm from Maryland. Okay. Running here means bad talk. Running here means talking good. Interesting. Uh, has anyone heard that if you get a canker sore, it's because you've been lying? That's funny. All the folks are here. So who's who showed up? This is the crumple bottom. The the crumple bottom is here. What is she, why is she wearing this hair? Okay. Oh my gosh. Hello. Hello, Bella. Wait, did I invite the right Bella? I can't tell. Is this the the wrong Bella? Look at Morty in the background. The Miss Crumplebottom. I love this suit. Look at Mort. Can we talk about Mortimer's fantastic suit? <laughs> Wait, the pink door, the purple door. Oh, this is Cornelia Goth here. <laughs> yeah, the shading on this dress is great. Then this is Michael. You gotta change Gussie up, change into formal. I I can't figure out if I invited the wrong Bella though. No, she's married. Okay, this is the right one. She's married to Okay, this is this is the real Bella. Okay. <laughs> I couldn't tell if it was fake Bella or real. I love young Mortimer so much. There's something about him that's so f I just love him. He's just like a little cutie. Imagine having people call you wrong first name. Yeah. <laughs> Being the wrong Bella. But yeah, also Agnes with her hair down. Should we try and I gussy her up? Let me see. Rawr, rawr. Just, just eating a sandwich in your robe. You know. Yeah, imagine. <laughs> imagine, uh, yeah, just people showing up through your back door while you're just sitting there in your robe. No thanks. Okay, this is her, like, everyday wear. Maybe I should just give her, like, a different little bun. I'm gonna make the game explode if I try and... I don't know if things people say or if my grandma came up with that, which I wouldn't... Um, <laughs> wait. Oh, the... Though my favorite superstition, I guess, is that if you choke on your food, it's because someone else wanted the thing you're eating. <laughs> Got jealous. That's funny. Like somebody put a curse on you. Ugh, pain. Fox Club. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm gonna guess no. I'm gonna guess no. I haven't had a chance to visit the, the Crumble Bottoms. Paid. <laughs> Fox Club's paid. Fox Club is a paid member of the chat. I, I pay f as a pay Fox Club is a paid actor. <laughs> I don't know what she. I feel like she needs like a tight little bun. That sounded. <laughs> that was maybe not the best choice of words. I've always heard your ears ringing when people talk about you. Never heard burning. Yeah, that's funny. That's interesting. Agnes's tight little bun. <laughs> Agnes's tight little bun. Okay. I just need a little bun. Give me a bun. I don't even care. I'm just trying to get to the end where there's probably good buns. Here's this one's kind of nice. I'll just give her that one. I'm tired of choosing. <laughs> yeah. I know if your ears are red, you're embarrassed. I think so. The pink flashing is plaguing us today. It was those, see, it was th the thumbnails. I'm just going to reload the lot really quick. Wait, let me save. I just try reloading. I know that didn't work last time, but sometimes it does work. Thank you for the save game. <laughs> Ooh. <Oops> to you. <laughs> Ooh. Psychic. I said up to you. <laughs> That's opening. <laughs> That's the opening.
please we just want a wedding and a death and then a traumatic we need we need just to inflict some simple trauma upon these sims and then be about our way please no pink oh no pink okay there we go okay let's just let's just go for it marriage time marriage time the soup goes to pretty sims like campfire smoke. <laughs> Thank, thanks, Sammy Sun God. That's funny. <laughs> thanks to the Sun Gods. I love how Miss Crumplebottom is the first one here. Okay, folks. Oh my. What is Mary? Um. Coral? Coral made her own dress. Do you think Coral made her own wedding dress? I think Coral might have made her wedding dress. <laughs> Inflicts trauma on digital Barbie dolls. Tee hee. <laughs> this, is a, this is a look. This is a look. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Now <laughs> Are you folks coming out for the wedding? The kids are not even here. I need everybody to get out here. It's literally just Bella, Cornelia, and Agnes just standing in the yard. Can everybody come here, please? Mary Sue, this is your mommy. You're about to get a new stepdaddy. There we go. There we go. They're coming out. She's still in the thick of the dark. It's her own style. She's, she, it's her midlife crisis look. I love his sunglasses that night. Very nice. Um, we'll do other sim. Okay. I'm gonna save. So here's for those that maybe missed it. We have a we have a storyline. We have a plan. Don Lothario seems to not have much interest in like going to college and being like being Dr. Dreamy even though he does work in the co this this career he doesn't seem to want to go to college and we thought that maybe he becomes extremely interested in being actually a doctor by saving flamenco from death but we cannot of course we cannot forcibly save flamenco from death so we have to hope for the best <laughs> Dr. Dreamer could hmm you need to get out of the shower. Oh no, not the pink, the one pink soup puddle hiding under the shower. Please have mercy. Okay, Don, I need you to run here. All right. Road to fate starts now. Let's just say one more time. <laughs> it's a gamble. Don spilled his soup. Nut spilled his soup. The soup is trying to save flamenco. God, there's two. There's two soups. Okay, kill. Oh, kill Sim. Do we want to do fright? Like it's just too much for his little old heart. We can do that. <laughs> Honestly, nuts spilled his soup is appropriate too. Now, yeah. Okay. Everybody's here watching. This man's about to die. Damn. He's like, oh my god. I'm married. This is fine. This is fine. He's literally dying at the... Uh-oh. It literally looks like... That's perfect. <laughs> the party was too pumping. Look at everybody. Coral sobbing already. Oh no, Don's pink. Oh, it's a great reverse pink soup. <laughs> Grid Reaper's pink soup! Can we- how do I click on him? <laughs> I need to click on him. Wait. You need me to- I need to- Wait. Am I not- Can I not? Wait, is it because he's not family? <laughs> T-Pose Grim Reaper. Wait. You need to wait a little? Oh, he's come out. He's cut. He come back. He made an entrance. <laughs> there we go. I wait for the redemption to be done, and then we'll we'll hit play. Look at this. Everybody here. 
Keep posing to assert dominance. Here we go. His clipboard's still pink. The sobbing? Okay, he's trying. He's trying. Look at him. He's trying. Nita, get out of the way. Wait, I want to get a better angle. I'm trying to get a good angle. This is so cursed. Okay. He's pleading. He says, stop crying. All right. I'm afraid. Nina's got the flu. He won. He did it. He did it. Wait, he did it. I know the crying voices are so sad. Oh, no. He's, he's back. <laughs> the sunglasses. <laughs> Those okay. must be comfortable shoes. <laughs> oh. I bet you could walk all day in shoes like that and not do a thing. <laughs> I wish I had shoes oh, like there that. There he is. Oh god, the pink. Oh. Very nice. Okay, the party's a good time. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm gonna add stream marker. Uh. There we go. I gotta remember to do that. You can add stream markers so that if I need to go back and like edit a moment, a very important moment into something. So I guess I'm gonna have to reload the game, huh? Like, huh? So, uh. <laughs> oh, you did daydream remark already? Thank you. Also, that's okay. It'll be it'll be good to have like multiples. Yeah, it's marker. It is. I could also make it mark. I can do multiple. <laughs> what do you even do? So, I mean, it seems like it could be the right course of action to take. Wait. So, what was the what's the conversation? Flinka looks like he's about to erase our memories with a pen. Redeem is out of stock. Oh no. Say, oh, save the game. I saw that. Okay. I'm sorry. I missed. Okay. Why didn't they use the hideous? Yeah, I know. Well, you know what's funny? The pink color, I think it exists in other games, too. It's like it's not just them. Maybe I need to re-download that mod that just makes it invisible. The pink's funny. Look at everybody dancing. Look at everybody having a good time. They're like, hell yeah, we're back to life. We survived. We survived. Look at the dance party. Why does the pink soup have to ruin it? Such a good dance party. Look at this crew. Sploot oil. <laughs> it does, but why did we decide as gamers to have pink thing? Yeah, that's true. I don't know. Pearls? Yeah, this actually... Who's you? Cornelia. This is Miss Cornelia Goff. Miss Crumplebottom over here. The true retirement home. Honestly, look at this crew. The music's... But, okay, but here's the issue. Is there's no music playing? The music. This is off. Somebody turned this off. <laughs> there's no music playing. <laughs> it's not just quiet. It's just not on. <laughs> that makes it even more unhinged. <laughs> They're just celebrating. So Pink Soup wants a 404. I modded something and the bond broke. Her was the same shade of pink. That's funny. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna have to reload again. I already did once. Maybe we could have a machinima break. Maybe we'll do a midway machinima break. <laughs> Imagine Flamenco in his old teacher voice say, I live, bitch. Oh boy. Where you going, Miss Crump? Okay, Crumpy. Oh my, f I have a foot cramp right now. The pink soup is attacking. <laughs> the pink soup is attacking. I'm just gonna let the party play out because we are kind of managing around the pink soup oh you watched the that was so funny the only sad part is i don't think you would have heard the the voices of it right because it hopefully if it's set up correctly you didn't hear the voices <laughs> pink nut infection a u <laughs> okay but the one with the spanish was hilarious it was so good <laughs> 
It sucks I had the urge to play Sims 4 this weekend, but the game won't launch and I've tried everything you can't call EA anymore. I'm not buying another EA game again. Oof. I haven't I don't think I don't think I was thinking about that. I think the only EA game other than obviously The Sims 2, but like Sims 2 is like discon disconnected from them. Oh, okay, you did. Okay. Excuse. <laughs> Excuse. Um the the only EA game I really actively play is The Sims 3 that's like still an up updated like a more current covered EA game. Why is my store playing Five Nights at Freddy's movie song? Oh no. Pink nut like pink eye? Oh no. Everybody's eating our rotten food. I mean, we had a good party. Uh oh. Miss Crumblebottom's fighting with Michael in Don's bedroom. What's going on? Okay, I think Donnie Boy tomorrow is gonna go to college. I think he's, you know what I think we should do also is have him change his lifetime wish to being a doctor. Now that he's, he's successfully saved. He's successfully saved. I'm just going to ignore all restrictions and just see if I can find it. Pink nut blue. <laughs> One nut, two nut, pink nut, blue nut. Fantastic. <laughs> Maybe you can help me later. Oh, the oh oh. The other from me before my problem was because I still have cloud save folder. Oh. Became hospital chief of staff. Does that work? Yeah. Not. Wait, his 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 aspiration level is haughty. Okay. Not. Eight by five. Look at her. She's into it into it <laughs> fat nut <laughs> what is this weak ass nut loves that quote that quote is has become the favorite quote apparently oh i thought my game was playing also mary sue looking respectfully Can we give mary sue a friendly hug not Okay. <laughs> Manifesting. Also that one. That one's a popular one. <laughs> no. Mervy Nut. Is the satanic sister of Cottage Nut? <laughs> that is wild. That is some wild information. <laughs> oh my gosh. You nut what? <laughs> Who's coughing? Somebody's sick. You. I think... We need like a little um, trash can in here. It seems like nobody's able to use. Let me get like a little inside trash can. Uh, I think I have it in this section. Also, I gotta sell the wedding arch because we have no money. I'm gonna put this. There we go. go use a pharmacy in game with mods that make the medicine machine better i think i do have a mod that makes the med medicine machine kind of work better but i don't i don't in this hood like have anybody that like runs a pharmacy i probably should you know i mean this just passed away out here not not it is dying this isn't about her <laughs> I'm gonna do a Sims 2 challenge where my Sim works a crappy job and lives in an apartment with no furniture. <laughs> you mean just like IRL? <laughs> just an IRL challenge? These two? What? Did, why? What did? What did Mikey do? Public nudity? <laughs> Not a Comey quote. Wait, a Comey quote? Public nudity is the true herbal essence of freedom. Hundred and fifteen percent chance. Okay. Nut by all, Kanut Futa. <laughs> okay. All right, y'all. The party's over. Everybody, get the hell out of the house. Get the hell out of house. I do need Donny Boy to call college. I'm sorry about the pink flashing. We will take a moment to do a rerun, a re reload. <laughs> That'd make Nut so much easier. <laughs> 
They said, clean the nutter box, Polly. <laughs> oh. Let's apply for scholarships. Let's see what he's got. Why you got? Uh, he do wait, he doesn't qualify for any? I thought he was supposed to because he's an orphan. He said, get out of the house. And Salsa took that person. Yeah, Salsa's gone. Where'd Salsa go? Salsa's back in the cage now. Okay, but Miss Crumplebottom decided to not follow the rules. Crumplebottom, do you think you're above the law? Miss Crumplebottom says, the law cannot touch me. I am Miss Crumplebottom. He does have genetic parents, but I don't know if because he's he's, he's being taken care of. See, he, he genetically has two... I don't know. I'm being harassed, I think. But Spot likes to harass people. It's it's a problem. <laughs> Parents aren't in the family tr tree as dead, so the game doesn't care consider them an orphan. Oh, really? So even though they're grayed out, but they're technically not like it doesn't consider it dead enough. I don't know. Oh, that's what you were guessing. Okay. It'd be cool if you could, like, force give a, a, a scholarship. Academics. No school for Dawn? <gasps> I didn't know this was an option. I could just make them not do school from the Sim Blender. I can also force private school? Fascinating. I have a whole mod dedicated to that and th now i realize that that's there i can change their grades too okay let's save i hate having to reload the game for like another just i mean we're going to be playing another household after they're done but we only have one day left but i'm gonna have to exit again maybe we'll like i said we'll um we'll be able to watch a little machinima moment here when i do a stupid reload Maybe there's no actual death tombstone urns in the save file. That's the thing is, I swear that there is. I swear that there there is tombstones at one of the lots. But maybe there's just still something that's a little off with it. Maybe you didn't give them a dead token. Oh. Maybe only... <laughs> they only get orphan leave grant when there's only beans living in the house and adults. Yeah. Sorry for the loud ass audio um at least the sims 2 works cry <laughs> you know drinking a hot drink and i'm sweating so hard oof we actually have pretty nice temperatures today it's been a lot nicer out what is it right now 32 degrees which is very mild for here like i didn't have to uh, wear gloves outside when I was walking Olive. Okay. I kind of want the game to load before I click off of it. I just want to at least get into loading the hood. And then we'll do a machinima. It's a balmy 33. That's pretty good. Because considering we've been in like the 10s. We've been like 9 degrees, 10 degrees, 11, 12. Butt spot. <laughs> 48 and rainy. That's not that's not bad. That's pretty good. I mean, I like rain. Tim's wiki just says the orphan grant teen has no living parents. Okay, weird. I drank so much hot hot chocolate this weekend. I kept thinking about it and then I didn't want to. Cause I have a thing where like I want to drink like coffee and then have like a snack, like a little sweet like dessert with it. And then, but if I want to have like a warm thing to drink, I'm going to have coffee so I can do that. Because if I have hot chocolate, it's like too much chocolate already. So I don't want a sweet thing. <laughs> I don't know if that even made any sense. This is like a humid feeling in my experience. Seven? C yeah, balmy? I don't know what... Yeah, I think balmy is supposed to be humid-ish. But sometimes it's also used as... Um, as like sarcastically yeah like dreamy said it's like it's it's supposed to it's kind of sarcastically said as it's 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 a hot 30 degrees okay let me just load the hood and then we'll, we'll watch something while she loads 
What what kind of what's what's going on in the machinima suggestions section? What's going on in here? Like who's who is she? I'm gonna put just eyes on this because we kind of skimmed through that guy. Legend of Zelda. Sims 2. Interesting. I feel like I need to go up a little bit to some others that I haven't watched. I know there's a bunch. The Kardashian spoof. This is only two minutes long. <laughs> this was the My Life one that got kind of weird. Carrie? <laughs> Kool-Aid. Do you want to watch Carrie, The Sims 2 Machinima? <laughs> Speaking of spooky stuff? <laughs> do you want to watch the Kardashians one? We can do that. I've only ever seen this infamous orange strawberry soda scene on a vine back in the day. <laughs> Trigger warning. Cool it. Let's watch this one. Let me pause. Well, this is... It's got a cute little intro. Oh, I remember this person's stuff. We watched some of theirs before. It was like a longer one. Also, Hank's barking in the background if you can hear him. But he's kind of just being annoying. Both nut. <laughs> Both nut. <laughs> Actually, let me go go big here. Los Angeles, California. The smog. Oh. <laughs> Subtitles. Also, let me know if it's it's quiet. If there are any, yeah. Luckily, this one's newer. <laughs> their their photo skin is is rough. Their photo skins are rough. I wish the titles didn't go, like, because my head blocks them, but... Strawberry soda sounds gross. I know the voice acting is very good. They have strawberry Dr. Pepper. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. Oh, wait, it just cut. Oh, <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> that was just a, a cut. <laughs> Not the Carnuthian. I assume this is what the Carnuthian nut is like. I know, I've never watched the Kardashian show. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Let's see. We can either... Uh, how long is... I don't know how long... Car Carrie's only three. Let's watch... We'll watch the Carrie one just for the hell of it. We'll watch the Carrie one. <laughs> it's almost four minutes long. We have 20 seasons of this on Bravo or something wild. From 2010. Please watch in HD. I know everyone says that, but trust me, you'll get more out of it if you do. <laughs> okay. This is a trailer for the book Carrie. Oh, the book. Okay. The book version of Carrie by Stephen King. Which I, so it's not like a recreation of like the movie. Yes. <laughs> How are you resolving pink soup in the meantime? Uh, I reloaded the game. <laughs> also, we can hear the game sound in the background. I forgot to turn it off. <laughs> uh... I just reload the game and it sounds like we're loaded into the, the hood here. Why don't why don't I 
Look at our cursed lot. Let's load up the household while I'm while we're watching. Okay. <laughs> our cursed pink hood. All right. Oh my. Wait. Oh no. This is great. I love it. <laughs> this is up my alley. What is this? <laughs> Whippy, the homicidal clown productions. That wasn't even, that was just like a little productions thing. That's great. That's a big Jesus. Oh my God. Why is he there? He's huge. <laughs> huge nut. This is very good. I like the, like, she looks distraught. <laughs> Cameo by the J-Man is, oh, J Jesus. I was like, who's J-Man? <laughs> yeah, the sound effects are good. Is this, is this, like, the audio, is that from, like, an actual trailer? Or is it, yeah, they said they did this for school. Is this something they've recorded, like, their voice acting? Or is it, like, from an actual trailer? I think, I don't know. He looks like a normie therapist. I don't know. I've been told big crosses are Texas core. Interesting. Yeah, the shaky eyes, but she had like also like the makeup on her face and stuff. And the Sims are not like face template one. They're unique. Your boyfriend. Yeah, I was actually just about to say that it might be their VOs because the girl being interviewed is Australian. Because I remember, I don't remember, because I did, didn't carry like take place in the U.S. I was just about to say she's Australian. Was there an Australian like <laughs> or bad British? Yeah, it's true. She sounds Australian. South of the Mason Dixon Corps. <laughs> Can't really hear the video. I can turn it up more. Let's turn it up a little bit more. There we go. I got it negative 10. Do you want me to back it up a little bit? We can hear her accent again. Ooh, it's loud for me now. Oh, his voice is louder. Okay. Yeah. He's also got an echo. <laughs> Thoughts from the beginning, miss. Yeah, you're right. I think projecting. That was, we, just, we got kind of fat. Wait, did they say kind of fat? I didn't even hear it. Oh. Uh. A booty. <laughs> Okay. Uh, it's quite a scene. They did a good job. 
Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I hope they gave him an A plus. I know Robin Ember. That's that's the wild. It's like <laughs> imagine being that teacher who gets that. Yeah, based on a novel. Okay, with oh with the voice talents of Greg Johnston. Poppy Sharky. What a name. <laughs> and other keys. Okay. Very, very, very well done. That one was good. That one was just like good. Okay. Close window. Okay. Thank God the game's paused. I panicked for a second. I was like, what if I change over and the game is not paused? <laughs> Everybody's dead and there's a fire. <laughs> that would be bad. The teacher, I'm like, oh my. Yeah, the teacher is assigning Stephen. You're right. If the teacher is assigning Stephen King, then. But who knows? What if it was a choose whatever you want thing, too? But that one was well done. I liked it. All right, Donnie boy. Wednesday, 2 a.m. Oh, Donnie. Thank you for the hydrate. That's a good idea. <laughs> there you go. Get get some more water. Get some more water. Like my virtual villagers all over again. <laughs> oh no. Speaking of villagers, I have been I've been on a miniature Animal Crossing uh fixation. <laughs> I need more death in my nut. I don't know what that means for you, Fox Club. <laughs> that might be a bad omen for you. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen King probably qualifies as classic American literature at this point. Yeah. I do need more death in my nut. <laughs> oh no. He's gonna do his is this your this is Don's homework. He's had a he's had a traumatic experience of saving somebody. He's now obsessed with doing his homework. What if I change his his in now he now that after this experience, his interest in work and school is like maxed. <laughs> Storytelling. Da da da. Okay. He's gonna do his homework. Where are you? Sleeping. I just got like a shot of a foot. Was that your foot? What? What? what was it a hand? Okay, you're sleeping. You're married, and your hu your hubby is alive. You're not gonna go dance. You're gonna go to sleep. <laughs> Beats. A nut of chicken broth can really move a nut. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. That's quite one. That's quite a quite a quote. That one's a good quote. Not. Eight by eight is square. Is the Z still in the corner? Oh, <gasps> she went away. She she was there for a minute. Is it the bird? I want a closed cage. I'm gonna auto lights, but then turn on this room. Sometimes I like to just have certain rooms always on, but then certain rooms auto. No, the Z. Merv, Mervy Nut is the satanic sister of Cottage Nut. <laughs> Wild. That'd make Nut so much easier. <laughs> Did it all auto lights? I think there's some mods out there that adjust how auto lights work. I know, I'm gonna have the lights on so the burglars don't come and so it's not so pitch black in the house. I don't like it when it's super dark and I can't see anything. <laughs> Nut roll, please! I remember that moment. Get your cottage nut with a spoon or a fork. I eat my- you know what? I eat my cottage nut over- over spaghetti and ketchup. <laughs> And I squirt a little ketchup on there. That's how I eat my cottage nut. <laughs> Spoon. 
Sports food. <laughs> Adelaide's can be fussy. Okay, buddy. Are we... Was there a carpool? Are you... Is this your carp? This is your carpool. I'm gonna be nice to him and give him a little a little bit of his hunger back. But he's still... They, they will not give up on this guy. Does this need to become a thing? Because, like, he will not give up on seeing the ghost of Dan. I'm going on vacation. Vacation would be fun for these two. Once all the kids are gone. The image in my head of all that makes me queasy. Now you gotta walk to work again. You slept... I think... Honestly? This is the second time that he slept through his carpool. I think it might be time for this old man to retire. I think, might, I think that might be it. I think he needs to just retire. He, he can't handle this, the workforce anymore. He's too old. He's too old. Speaking of which, the kids gotta go to school. Everybody, wake up. Go to goddamn school. So as soon, pretty much as soon as they come home, we're gonna have to have Donnie boy... Uh, yeah, we'll save. We're gonna have Donnie boy go to college. He's a CBL man. Fork. Fork. How do you eat your cottage nut with nut getty? <laughs> oh, you know. Retire from job. Grab a brush. Brush and put a little make put on a little makeup. <laughs> Retire, yes. He only gets 183 bucks daily. That's alright. Congrats on the retirement, old man. Alright, the kids are going off. We gotta have Coral finish um resume making this outfit. Let's have let's have you serve. Let's have you clean up. It's a mess in here. Not grabbable. <laughs> hmm. The pensions are jokes. <laughs> Sedate me, I beg. <laughs> Fox Club trying to write an email to the doctor, accidentally sending it in chat. Wouldn't getting a pension be so great? Honestly, though, I, you know what? I'll, I'll take If he doesn't want it, I'll take it. Nobody seems to clean up the plates right here. I don't know why they can't reach them. Serve breakfast. Omelets. Make an omelet. Make an omelet. <gasps> Old here have 50 bucks. Ugh. Making an omelet. So it's like, next time we play, these guys are just gonna be on their own here. You know? What if Coral convince him to, like, adopt another kid? Maybe they'll take on an adopted kid from the orphanage. Maybe that's what they can do, because Coral already adopted, you know, adopted Mary Sue once in her life, and then she kind of took over taking care of these kids for a while. And I mean, that's what Flamenco has adopted Dawn, essentially. I feel like they'd be good candidates for, like, taking on other kids. At least for while they're alive. But the Sims team in Sims 2 is like, nah, F you guys. No deleting plates. Yeah, <laughs> it's annoying. It's expensive plates. Shake my head. Yeah. <laughs> we, it, it's, it's, it's wasteful. How about you get up and eat, Coral? Coral. Coral. I love I love this turn of events for Coral. I'm so happy that Flamenco survived his his death experience. You can't delete plates IRL if you throw them hard enough. You can. <laughs> if you throw them hard enough. Yeah. Also, real pensions are jokes too. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly. I mean, just throw them on a wall. Exactly. <laughs> That's breaking, not deleting. If you throw them hard enough, they vaporize. I've done it before. I'm not lying. I wouldn't lie to you. Oh my god. I, you hear the growling? Do you hear the growling in the distance? Why? Herb. Ugh. Herb's here. 
everything to us as a king. Herb. Herbal. Oh, so you can eat a plate like a frisbee and it's gone? So delete it? Exactly. If you can't see it, is it really there? What about paper plates? Just set them on fire. Toss them in a fire. Or eat them. Yeah, just swallow them. They they dissolve in your stomach. It's it's true. I don't lie about anything ever. I mean, you can't turn into a, into a werewolf or have a half alien baby either. So, so you're certainly selective about realism. True. Probably just more has to like literally. It probably just has to do with like the balance of the struggle of the game, right? Things not being too easy, stuff like that. Let them do some mopping. We're gonna have Coral come up here and use. We'll have her make bed. We'll just have him do, doing little things. I'm gonna have her finish her making her outfit. I don't know. Now that he's retired, I guess he needs to take on more of a hobby. What is his one true hobby? Film and literature. Maybe he needs to start writing. Not the great nut bee. <laughs> Reminds me of Baby Grinch crunching on the Santa plate. That's funny. Reminds me of Nut Bee Grinch crunching on that nut plate. Not this. That's why I don't like doing ultra realistic playstyle. It's the Sims. Yeah, they're zany by definition. I don't want them to pay taxes. That's my curse. True. True. There's been times where I've tried out that style of, of stuff, like taxes specifically. Like, I did try to do that in Calicundi at one point, and it's just like... I don't know. I just no. want them to be silly little goofy pixel, pixel dolls. You know? Can he afford a computer desk somewhere here? Where would he fit a computer desk? I feel like when Don moves out of this room, he's going to turn this into his 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 study room. Um, yo, my nut is small. Oh no, you got zero inches wide. So it's like, how does that have? Is it? It's point five inches wide. That's the truth. I'm going to delete this. Let's see. This is this is only forty bucks. Give me like a super cheap chair. Sixty-five fifty-five. I swear I had like a typewriter. Or don't I have I think I have the notebook that you can write in. Oops, why am I in this section? Not. Not. There it is. This is a, a computer-free way of writing books, write novel. He's gonna write a mammal about his near-death experience. I want my sims to suffer, get taxed. Wait, another zero? 20 inches by zero? Oh, feliz, macho. I mean, I could uh, ostensibly just do what I'm already doing and donate to charity. Not called taxes, but donating isn't in character for all of them. <sighs> they launder it? <laughs> they launder it? Let them be wealthy. Waste their money on dumb shit. Donate it to the poor sims of the hood. Build a ridic mansion. Buy a fleet of cars. <laughs> let the let the the rich ruin everything, <laughs> and then let all the poor sims eat them. <laughs> okay, we gotta write. We gotta write. I had eight by zero. It likes zero. What's mine? I didn't do mine. Did I? Not. Not. Okay, I got 18 by 6. <laughs> Just let me build up my socialist utopia in peace. <laughs> Speaking of selective realism in Sims, I understand creepy people want to mirror to their experiences with homophobia in their Sims games, but I personally do not like it. Yeah, I... Oh, I did earlier. Um, well, I remember that right at the beginning. Yeah, it depends on the storyline. I feel like, like in this world, of course, like, Strange View is very... Like, obviously, uh, early Strange View specifically, early Strange Town started in the 80s, but I didn't really go along with, like, the traditional, like, being more strict about that sort of thing and kind of just played it, like, normal or, like, more current day-ish, but it's, like, kind of themed 80s, but, like, not really, stuff like that, because I didn't want to do something super intense with that. Um, yeah, I get that. What's his story going to be about? 
Let's see. Um, he met. He. Uh, I feel like if my Sims never suffer, I'll get bored really quickly. If my Sims can suffer a mental breakdown, they can pay taxes to the orphanage. <laughs> All right, he 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 met the love of his life, and they woohooed. And then, um, is there a marriage one? They uh, they got hitched, <laughs> and then. There was an explosion in his heart. And... Hit, and uh, <laughs> uh, he had... He had hallucinations of dinosaurs. No. He was a ghost for a minute. <laughs> and... And then Don saved him. Where's where's the representation of Don saving him? He came back to life. He flew back to life like this bat. He he flew back to life like 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 all. Look at these random. Like what am I supposed to do with these? Kite. He flew back to life. <laughs> then got hitch handcuffs. <laughs> you know, heart boxers represent Don True, or the athletic one. Anything. Oh, you know what? Oh, wait. Oh, I didn't know I had to. Okay. This one's good. He felt something in his chest. Then he... Oh, wait. No. Come back. Then he turned into a ghost. And then Dr. Don saved him. <laughs> Dr. Don saved him. This is, this, this, what is this book called? How Dr. Don... He knows that Don's going to be a famous... A famous doctor one day. What is the cover that appro is appropriate for this? I guess this one. Let's do that one. There we go. Bestseller coming up. So many twists and turns. Don brought a friend home from school. Gene Oliver. This looks like... Is that Goopy? That's Goopy, right? That's Goopy. All again, all of the the townies in this hood got their names randomized. I also saw this thing where you can like fix them, like you can fix the names through like a mod or whatever. But I haven't done it. But I've just been fixing like actually changing their names. I'm gonna have you do this. First name, Jean. Last name, Oliver. I love I love Goops. The origins of McDreamy. That's a good one. The birth of McDreamy. <laughs> McDreamy saves the day. We're writing. Shut up, Don. You got a pimple on your forehead. Leave us alone. Don't put it... The way he puts his homework down in front of him. Okay. Let's get goofy. Now I gotta remember how to spell Gil's Carbo. Goopy Gil's Carbo? I don't know if I did that right. There's a program for it. Okay, I thought I saw it. Can, but does it work like after the fact? Does the fixing of it work after the fact? Because that'd be really nice. I saw it. I feel like I might have saved it on my Tumblr or downloaded some. I don't remember. I, I like bookmarked it or something. We do need Don to like leave immediately though. I'm going to lock in this. But he needs to go to college because he's going to age up very quickly if if we don't at like 6 p.m. Oh my god, it's this guy again. This guy's also supposed to be a pre-made who looks familiar. His face looks familiar and I can't figure it out. There you go. Restart, restart D okay. That one. <laughs> yeah, I gotta see if I can make it work. For It'd be really nice. Because there's a lot of important like townies in this hood. He's going to move to college. And I kind of think later that Dina and Nina will, too. Should Nina go, too? Because Dina actually wants to. Today is the last day in this household anyway. Um, Coral's running as fast as she can to say goodbye. Just chasing him down. Herb is here again. Once again, we're living rent-free in Herb's brain. I don't know if you saw it, but the origin of Dr. D is a culmination of 
all two of my brain cells that I'm proud. <laughs> That's very good. I think I did see it, but I was like skimming through all the different chat. That's a good one. It didn't ask me for the title. I guess I have to wait till he finishes it. Okay, so Donnie Boy's in the in there. Herb is obsessed. Herb is obsessed. Look, she wants the death of Dan too. Oh, uh, Coral's sitting in, in Don's room reflecting on all of the, the four days that she was kind of his mom. <laughs> you know, works after you've created the phone, you just need the original template used. Interesting. By t so, like, with, in the situation of this subhood, does that mean, like, the original version of the hood? Like the non subhood version, or they're just the original copy of the da freshly downloaded hood. Q's in Mariah Carey's obsessed. Oh my god, buddy, chill out. There's other potties in the house. There's other potties in the house. Go somewhere else. Go that way. Oh, I was supposed to. Oh crap, you were supposed to take a shower. Sorry. Dr. D. <laughs> it is a good name for him. <laughs> I love the idea of Don being Dr. D because of the subtle in innuendo. Exactly. I think that's good for him. You get you get the early pleasant template from the open for business template folder. You drag in it. Oh, yeah. Okay. I see what you mean. Yes. I think I get what you mean. I think. Goops is here. Who's hacking up along? Is it? Oh, it's you. Just go pee. Need some acne cream. He always prescribes vitamin D to only the, the, the ladies in his care. You know. Okay, I'll have to give it a try because that would be really good if I could make sure that I've got everybody's names right. Do I know who is who? Why are you trying to answer the phone? Okay, just go to the bathroom. Goopy wants to talk with us. Oh, she's already answered. Who is it? Some lady. Oh, it's Jennifer Pleasant. It's Jenny, future Jenny Burb. Use a spreadsheet. I use, um, I use, uh, Notion. I can share it on here, too. I also have to run a dumb ad in a minute. Um... There we go. This is what mine looks like. This is the program called Notion. So it does have like a spreadsheet. Oh, it's cool. It has these little toggles so I can drop down and we've got like everybody like right now we're in progress. It also lets you do these tags and stuff. So in progress, we got these guys, which like right now Don got, went to the university hood. So I'm going to drag him down here. He's it is a free program. Yep. I don't know if there's I think there might be like pro versions, but I've I've never paid for it. I've never paid for it. I only use the free version. Um we'll probably have these because I'm I think I'm just gonna have both the girlies go to college. So I might as well just before I forget, I'm gonna drop them down in here. So why don't I mark these guys? And then so up next is the Burb household. We'll probably oh, I don't have anything inputted in here yet. These last few I haven't typed anything in. Oops. <laughs> Oops. I'm, oh, I'm obsessed with Pascal's face. Is that the the header? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the header. That's Pascal. Yeah, that's teenage Pascal. <laughs> can I, we can look at him. We found him at a random lot, dressed in, uni in like, uh, a night uniform, like he was LARPing, but he was very seriously dancing. <laughs> that was that. Take a shower. He's funny, yeah. He's in the university hood right now, so I'm excited to play him in the university. Okay, I'm roll rolling an ad while we're kind of just chilling here. He would be a LARPer, though. Yeah, yeah. Wouldn't he? Yes. <laughs> he would be. Did she finish her... Oh, she finished? I think she finished the, the dress. It's too bad she should have made them... Maybe I can, like, dress them in the dress when they're grown up so they still wear it in honor of Coral. We're gonna give Dina the gift. Her and this guy are getting along. Dina and this dude. 
Play with salsa. <laughs> Leave salsa alone. Okay, do a food dish. I have him fill the food dish, and then he can sleep for a little bit. Uh oh, Dina is ill. Rose being summoned by the gods. <laughs> the gods, Joan of Arc style. <laughs> there we go. So just created an alarm app I use to the premium version. I'm overwhelmed with the options. Sometimes the free version is easier to use. Oof. I was thinking about that the other day that I was like, maybe I just need to get me like a classic alarm clock. <laughs> that I don't. Oh, a Kiv? Okay, Kiv. She wants a car. Okay, so it is 6 p.m. I'm gonna have them, the girlies, go off to college now. Let's double check. That I don't think either of them have earned any. I mean, she might. She doesn't have an A plus, so I don't know. I'll go way back in the combo, but I found the info about the mods with the wants packages. Okay, from Epi Sims. As this is a want replacement, the mod's name is want a package. It can't be renamed in order to work. It goes in your downloads folder like any other mod. If you have any other wants mods that edit different wants, they're compatible as long as you keep them in separate folders or merge them. Okay. So you'd have to, like, combine... You'd have to, like, crack them open and, like, copy-paste what's in each of them together or something? I don't know how you'd combine them, but that's good to know. That could be useful. Like, you could even just have, like, a subfolder that has all of them. Like, these are the wants things. Yeah. I might have to look into that for... I'll have to remember that at least. But... Seems way less happy for that present than Nina was. Oh, was she? I didn't even... I wasn't paying attention. I should have. Oh, we did... Oh, she did get the Scholar's Grant. Okay. The Fortune Sim gets the Scholar's Grant. Herb is outside again. I just thought Herb walked by again. Sir? He needs... He needs to get... He needs... Just go away. He's thinking about the divorce. He's looking in the window, thinking about divorce. I wish I could just run out and fight him, but I have to greet him first. And I don't wanna. I don't wanna give him that satisfaction. Oh, she might get a scholar's grant too. Oh, I forgot to change her into the outfit, but that's okay. I'll try to remember. Herb needs a season desist letter for real. Yeah. <laughs> he needs a restraining order. Just put in subholders, they... I never merged CC personally, yes. Yeah, that, I think that'd work. I got a premium version of the Alarmy app because it gives you missions to prove you're awake. But good god, the sound I used was blaring so loud for so long while I finished the missions my husband wanted to murder me. Oh no. Oh no. Let's apply... I think she's gonna get the A, the A one, the scholarship one. Oh, Mary Sue's walking by now. Yeah, she got that one. Cool. I know, Nina's, Nina and Dina both got some coughing going on. Move to collage. There we go. I'll be interesting to see how things unroll. College is where the, the strange town and the Pleasant Butte kids are really gonna get to mesh, you know? Okay. Unfortunately, Flamenco's asleep, so he's not, like, saying goodbye to them, which is a little bit sad, because he was pretty close with all of them. But we'll just say that he knew. He's just an old guy. I think we should clear out this room. Coral, can you get off of this couch? Can you just, like, come sit out here? And I can just make this, like, a little... little study zone. Who am I hearing? Is one of those... Actually, I'll leave that plant. Go to this. Where did the book he was writing go? He must have put it in his inventory. Turn on move objects. Will Don have anyone to give him away to college? Yeah, that's that'll be interesting. I bet it'll be flamenco. They were besties. I don't know. You have to like see him off. I don't know. That info was uh, from their mod that changes the puppy and kitten wants to dog or cat wants. Oh, okay. 
Working on merging all custom clothes by mode items. I've I've had a lot of bad luck with merging the build by stuff. Doesn't ever work for me. Man's gonna break in and steal their teaspoons. <laughs> Why does he want their teaspoons? Can't delete the kids off to college. What do you mean I can't delete? Here, we're gonna put it up on the roof. Okay, it's gonna be a oh here's this. Oh, the manuscripts here, I see. I might how much money we got? Should I I wanna get him a bigger desk? Let's do this. Eighty bucks. Four. Four. Yeah, I like his mentor. Yeah. Um also thank you for the mod love, sorry. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Works for me when I change my mind. Plus Mostly for load speed. Um, which isn't a huge issue for me. Okay. Yeah, mine's not terrible. I'm gonna give him this. I like the look of it. And I'm just gonna put... I'm gonna put, like, maybe this in here. I don't know if he, he needs other study stuff, or just, like, a little seat. A little place. <laughs> the dreamer. <laughs> Um, oh, I love partial credit mod because homework disappears once the kid goes to school. Ah, uh, I feel like I had that at one point. Oh, is mod love for, I think mod love is supposed to, well, moderators, mod love is supposed to be for moderators. But I also like the concept of just being like love to the mods, <laughs> to the, the video game mods. <laughs> it's both. It's both. No, I think it's 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 just moderators. <laughs> but I also think that's funny. Just have like this chilling in here. <laughs> Jay, Jay your room's like, oh, okay, screw you then. Screw you then. Damn. I don't know. There we go. Indigo, I love modifications for my game. <laughs> Me, thanks for the love. Indigo, what? <laughs> what? Moderator is on Twitch, but the game CC would be cute. Yeah. Both. Both is good. <laughs> Dreamer is a mod. Dreamer is a moderator. Can I actually? I want like a little desk light. Sure. There we go. All right. Well, this this household was kind of wild. This household was kind of like it, it. I didn't know where we were going, but things happened. Lots of things happened. <laughs> Lots of things happened. Uh, oh, Goopy's still here. What if we just adopt Goopy? Maybe we should just adopt Goops. <laughs> Look at salsa. Goopy likes salsa. Goopy salsa? Hmm. Hmm. Remember the Sims 2 mod? Where can I download them? Thanks, but I can't download them. Chromie and Toby, yes. Also, all mods. All mods. Pet goops. Hot goop. Oh no. Not the hot goop. Sir? I like how the bird moves like those, you know those stupid TikToks where it's supposed to be like, the person's like doing the movement like they're supposed to be a video game character, like idling? That's what the bird looks like <laughs> when he's just sitting there. <laughs> I hate it. Okay, ma'am. Can you go? <laughs> Don't go into the dark. Eat hot goop. Hot goop. <laughs> What, what's the difference between the goo and the goop? <laughs> Where can I download? Yeah, you, you gotta you gotta hit up Dreamer's mom for the download. <laughs> you gotta. <laughs> Interesting question. <laughs> My friend here is terrified of birds that talk 
So I sent her TikToks of parrots. Oh my gosh, that's funny. I can see, I can understand the, the fear. Like, it makes sense. Yeah, so we're kind of just chilling here. I don't know what the Burb household has in store for us. I don't like the phrase, hit up Dreamer's mom. <laughs> we have to ask Dreamer's mom on a date <laughs> in order to get a free download of Dreamer. <laughs> Leave the lady alone, you feral fiends. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Who's, who's out here yelling and talking? Oh, we're arguing? Easter right. She's also supposed to be somebody. But Goopy's arguing with Easter. Let's have you just macro clean, I guess, for a little bit. But then go to bed? Are you gonna do ban us? <laughs> you can't ban us if we become your new step-parent, huh? <laughs> I'm just gonna tell you to go to your room. Have you ever thought about doing a scary game day? Yeah, I've tried to before. Um, I did in the um, in the past. It kind of worked, but it didn't. I don't know. It'd be fun to I'd do some more. I'm a team, but thanks. I love the explanation. Wait, I missed the explanation. To me, goo is like shower joke. Goop is more like thick porridge. Okay. <laughs> okay. Fascinating. Is anyone a fan of, of Watcher Entertainment or BuzzFeed Unsolved? I've never, I've heard of BuzzFeed Unsolved, but I never watched it. I've never seen it. How does, does that make us step siblings? <laughs> did laughed out loud in the middle of the night. And I just, I did laughed out loud in the middle of the night. And I just choked, <laughs> choked. <laughs> You like BuzzFeed and Salt, okay. Shocked. Uh-oh, Dreamer has, has pulled out a knife. <laughs> She's got a knife. <laughs> Not my, lol. They just started doing spooky gaming. Oh, they did those accounts. Okay, interesting. I have a lot of scary games that I bought on sale, like last year that I haven't like played. Uh, I got them for super cheap. But then there's also... I, there used to be this this YouTube... Not YouTuber. There used to be this streamer I watched who... Um, they would do a lot of haunted PS1 games. Like, or... They're from that... What is it? What's it called? It's like the... It's like indie games, indie horror games. And they were made to the style of like PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2 games. They were like newer games, but they made to look like older games. And they were just like scary games and stuff. Um, and that was, I always liked those. Those had a very interesting character to them. And I tried to play something like that once on stream. It was okay. It was hard for me to get it to like fit into the, the theme of things. Um, although because recently, uh, so like my current s schedule that I'm trying out this week is where I do, so I'm streaming today, I'm not streaming tomorrow, but I am streaming Thursday, and then I'm doing Saturday and Sunday, and if that kind of works out for me, because I really like the idea of doing four days a week, but it was hard for me to do three days in a row because I really got behind on things I needed to do, also I need to be done with this household, it's midnight. I'm gonna save. I know we're just kind of sitting here watching Coral clean, <laughs> you know, just casual stuff. Um, but it's possible. I feel like Sunday is gonna be more of a random day. Like, like this this Sunday is gonna be more of the PSP. It might be when I'm more likely to play The Sims Three or other stuff. But maybe in like the future, I could also do occasional like variety spooky stuff or something else. Okay, so we just finished them. Okay, they're they're thankfully they're not, not pink anymore, so that's nice. PS1 style horror games too, especially the ones that have the short, cute overtone and then horrific, demented undertones. Yeah, <laughs> there was this one I watched the the guy that used to watch play. He doesn't stream. It doesn't seem to stream much anymore. At least not at my like time zone anymore. Oh my gosh, there was one that was wild. I wish I knew the name of it. 
That's wild. I see you. <laughs> Please let me work and watch stream Steven and see stream in peace. <laughs> Have you ever heard of a game called The Tenets? It's like a landlord sim where you design can design the apartments. Interesting. I don't think I have heard of that. Sounds like it could be interesting. Interesting. Okay, so okay, we're black black in Pleasant View. Back in Pleasant View. We just finished the Calientes. Now we're gonna go to the Burb household. So the Burb household consists of Tiffany Burb, John Burb, Jennifer Pleasant, and Tucker Burb. Which is really fun because these guys were all in The Sims 1. It was like a lot of a, a few of the the other Pleasant View characters featured in The Sims One. These guys all were. Tucker is from The Sims One. Um, if you play the Burb household in in the original The Sims One, it Tucker is their dog. They have a little ye little yellow dog, and Tiffany is John Burb's mom. He also usually has a dad, but I think he's passed. I hate that <laughs> Johnny breeding kink Burb. <laughs> it's a it's a family of Burbs. They're just names, Burb. <laughs> and so, yeah. Um, band. <laughs> band. So let's read their little bio. I haven't set them up at all, so we're probably going to burn a bunch of time setting up traits and stuff. I'm going to try to get through it when we can. We're going to have to read bios and stuff, too. Uh, so Tiffany, the recent matriarch, wants to move the Burbs to the hustle and bustle of the city. But now... John, which this is John's kind of spelt wrong. That's okay. Unless maybe maybe there's a version of John spelt like that. Now John, <laughs> I don't know why, but this is making me think that of that trend where people make YouTube videos of fake flash games with creepy undertones or straight up horror shock endings. Oh yeah. I always know Tucker is the one stray dog that always shows up downtown and causes problems. Really, that's funny. What substance do I take to erase this sentence from my memory? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so, but now John and his fiancée Jennifer don't want to cut their roots from peaceful little Pleasant View. Will their ultimate decision bring them together or even more apart? Okay, so we have some, some fighting here. Let's go see. Like the Flash dress-up games? Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Oh, Jennifer's pregnant. Okay, I didn't... Wow, she's very pregnant. Jenny's very pregnant. God, this dog looks like he's in pain. Oh, he just didn't look so bad. Why is he like... It's like he's got a, like a strap on his head. He's like he's got his like a like a mask on. Oh, <laughs> that shot, that up nose shot for a second was a little scary. This house is super cute. I really like it. Look at how cute this little house is. Why is he so crunchy? I don't know. Probably because of my reshade. I also have like default hair stuff. <laughs> what the dog doing? He does. He have pink eyes. I also have default doggy stuff that might be affecting things. His eyes are kind of like amber. Yeah, I think, I don't know. He's got some things going on. Um, I think part of it's my default fur colors that are like one's more vibrant. Okay, so. One little one little pet peeve for me is this fence is backwards. Oh no, look, it's half half one way and that's half the other way. Oh no. I didn't see anything. Okay, let's put down a manipulator. I'll do this so I have this on hand for when I need it. Um, I need to change the time of day and stuff. Change model. I keep going until I get a, a flamingo. I think it's after this one. There we go. Um, there are things in this things world in this that we will world. never fully understand. Understand. He low key levitated. <laughs> Everything's wrong. He's a golden, so he's automatically cute. It doesn't years matter. <laughs> to build our credibility, our reputation. Our reputation. Okay, sorry. Let's. I gotta focus. I gotta focus on what I'm doing here. Um, I always imagine the people that are like watching it back, and they're just like, "Hurry up! <laughs> Hurry up!" Okay, it's Saturday. It's 8 a.m. That's fine. 
Okay, so we have Jennifer, who is, they're not married yet, which is interesting. They're only engaged. They're not married. Jennifer and jo is it weird? Does John have like a? F Why is Johnny got some jowls? Johnny's got jowls. Why? Why he shaped like that? Hanky. Nut be honk. Johnny hamster face. He does. Um, so he's besties with, with Tucker. He wants a baby. He wants to get married. We'll lock those in. Um, there's a lot of trees here. They're kind of overwhelming. Um, so what's, what, let's see. So then we have Jennifer and then where's mommy? Oh, mommy's up here. Mommy's inside. This is Tiffany. I guess Johnny gets it from Tiffany. I don't know. Um, she's not employed right now. What's her lifetime wish? Earn a hundred K. Those are the jaws that Jennifer Burb hold on to when they when they breed. <laughs> Chipmunk. Okay, what's her bio say? <laughs> How do you delete a chat message? <laughs> no, you must you must be you must you must you must deal with the consequences of your actions. He just had a tooth surgery. Don't make fun of him. <laughs> he just had his molar his his <laughs> he just had his his wisdom teeth out. Okay, Tiffany's bio. Since becoming a widow, Tiffany spends her days thinking about finally leaving dreary and lousy Pleasant View. But now that her Johnny boy has become attached to this town, will she e ever make her escape? <laughs> Publicly displayed shame. <laughs> What's what? I will. I will. Unpin. There you go. <laughs> Um, interesting. So she wants to leave. Maybe she needs to get a, a job to, like, help her feel better or something. I don't know. Then we have wonderful Jennifer, who's kind of a cutie. Jennifer is a major cutie. Also, enjoy your dinner. Also, IRL Hank is screaming in the background. Jennifer's bio. Ever since moving in, Tiffany has been nagging Jen. Now, I don't know why. I don't like her being called Jen. I don't like her being called Jen. Hi, Bagel Swag. How are you? You've come in. You've come in just as we're starting the burbs. My nose is itching. I'm sorry. I might have to take a break. I'm like, blow my nose. Nut Bagel Swag. <laughs> Butts Bud said hi. <laughs> That's how Butts Bud says hi. <laughs> Tiffany has Tiffany has been nagging Jen about the proper traditions, but Jennifer will show her mother-in-law that she can be a successful businesswoman, a soccer star. While being a great mother and partner. Interesting. So it sounds like Tiffany and Jennifer are having some clashes. Hi, trombone gal. How are you doing? We're playing some of early Pleasant View. Um, part of the early Strange View. Uh, like Uberhood I got going on. And this is the Burb household we're just starting. So this is Jennifer and John. And then John's mom, Tiffany, is living here too. Tiffany, monster and lock confirm pretty much. And I feel like there's something about, because, like, John and Jenny are not married yet, and yet she's pregnant, you know? So, like, I feel like that's an issue. Um, And then Johnny Boy. There's a loud noise happening outside. <laughs> if you could hear it. Thank you for the mod, love. John got them hamster cheekies to store food in. That's how, when he harvests his garden, he sticks them in his cheeks. <laughs> So, John. Everybody's barking outside. You got the horsies. <laughs> Are they... Is it properly sized? I, I keep missing it. I didn't see it. Hopefully it's, like, not humongous again. The harvestables are all in John's cheeks. John was the most affected when his dad passed away. But he promised good old Brad to take care of his precious garden. While all this, John wishes his mom would let him and Jen sleep in the same bed. I know the promised. John's a little, John's a little mommy boy. Is John a little, what is this? Please tell, please tell that going. I love them so much. I have another little video of, um, of them that I, I was going to share. I got to at some point. He's ready for winter. So 
Two single beds, baby. Yeah, I know. Mom, let me sleep in the. Yeah, I know. Like, okay, but how did she? Where? Where did the pregnancy happen then? <laughs> Can we please hold on to Sims One Jennifer Pleasant? That's football, soccer in in wrong. <laughs> yeah, that's. I think I I like that. That that's the reference being made here with her wanting to be a soccer star. Um. See, she wants to be a business tycoon, but. That was the thing in, in The Sims 1 is she... Because it, it also mentions a soccer star. She wants to be a businesswoman and a soccer star. Oh my god, there's really loud things happening right now. I don't understand. Sorry. They don't hear it. Yeah, I don't know how much it picks up. I think it stopped. It was driving me nuts. Anyway, it's it's anyway. <laughs> Pregnancy happened in the garden, obviously. Oh god, is that John's other king? John can only <laughs> I don't nut anything either. Butt spot. <laughs> we know butt spot. <laughs> we know butt spot. It's okay. I think my my uh filters are probably c controlling it, but it's annoying me. <laughs> okay. Um so John is like a little a little bitch. Um and Jennifer needs to take control and kick Tiffany out. Next question. So like where so they literally have two different beds in here. I saw my stream was frozen. <laughs> John Burb, little hamster bitch. <laughs> like they literally have two separate beds crammed in here. What is this? You know there's a lot of interest and uses for produce in this context. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany's is my house, my rules. Tiffany nut. Yeah. I think I need to get rid of this tree. It's driving me nuts. It's in my way. These are kind of in my way too, but they're a little bit more useful at least. Okay. I'll hit play for a second. Okay, she's like about to give birth, isn't she? Is this going to be Lucy or are we going to name it something else? She's, like, about to give birth. What if she gives birth to, like, 30 kids? What if she has quads? Giving Lucy and Ricky for my love, Lucy. Lucky? Lucky's fun. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Tiffany running by. Not tuck Tucker's chewing shit up, man. Just it says just one, oh, allegedly. Oh, stop. <gasps> oh. Oh. I like the idea of John accidentally kills his mom with a bad harvest. Something something happens. I heard that as a kiss. <laughs> what is it? I don't know if that's a girl. I think it might be a girl. I can't tell. Oh, it's a boy. Lucy or Luke? Do we think we should? I... Hmm. Lucian? Interesting. The harvest is going to be abundant that summer. Mama will make great fertilizer. Yeah, I feel like... I feel like Jennifer... I feel like Jennifer is gonna... Johnny's gonna choose between his wifey and his mom. Bradley... Wait! <gasps> Bradley's really good because that's the dad's name. The dad's name was Brad. I f that wait, I like that a lot though. I know we we could do like the Lucy thing, but I love the idea of it being named after the dad. Lu Lucy Laduca? Lucy Laduca who? Bad, yeah, you could do Bradley or Brad Jr. I like that. And then if they have another one, they could... I'm sure there, these people... Are, these these guys are going to have 20 kids. Like... I have a Bradley, too. It's a cute nut. Yes. No, it's a cute name. Yeah. For me, the, the only thing... For me, the name Bradley, like... I, I went to school with a bunch of Bradleys, and all of them were, like, the most obnoxious redneck kids. Like, <laughs> that's the only thing for me. But in this context, I like it. Chadley. There <laughs> we go. Is Bradley. Why is this little plant out here? So, like, where's the goddamn baby gonna go, though? This house is cram jammed. 
Shredless chewing cud and hooting and hollering. When I was in school, all of the redneck kids had a saying that they started getting like actual stickers made for like their trucks to put on their trucks. And it was the dumbest thing ever. And I don't know where it came from. Is there two dining areas? Oh yeah, there's this. Hmm. But I feel like this isn't enough on its own. Do I need to put the baby in here? How do I want to do that? It's a very tight house. I think mommy does need to move out. Um, yeah, I really like the look of this. I might leave it for right now. I was thinking this big obnoxious thing, like one or, or even just the fact that like why do we need the fish tank and the indoor dog bed because the dog has the house out here right i think i could do that and then like baby i think i'm just gonna do this kind of wanna i think this will be okay we'll see i don't need this mirror either we're just gonna get rid of it for now do i have snapping on Maybe the house would have more room if Mother Dearest just... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Although these guys are going to outgrow this house quick even without Mother Dearest here. I think that's Operation 1 is, is kill Mommy. <laughs> Get Mommy to leave or, or murder Mommy. Let's have to see how old she is too. We also haven't done any traits. We're going to have to give traits. I also didn't finish saying... I don't remember if I've shared this before. But yeah, the, the dumb saying that the kids used to say at school, all the rednecks used to say, was run it. They used to use it on everything. Just run it. And it was, they used to say it in like the most obnoxious redneck way they could. Getting flamenco treatment. <laughs> yeah, run it. And then they'd like make a dumb noise. They go, Burr. it was, <laughs> welcome to redneck USA. I don't know what kind of, what kind of. What's he gonna... Let me just put this in here. Run it. What's like, what's... What's the vision? Camouflage? I feel like Johnny's a green boy. Money. Oh, cactus are cute. I'm not crazy about these recolors, but like... I'll make it work. So the redneck rallies were cosplaying PCs. Yeah, <laughs> run it, <laughs> command, <laughs> command prompt. Yep, they didn't even realize it. They didn't even realize how how nerd they were. There we go. Because why not? I guess. Um, maybe we'll just for right now we'll put a little baby toy. Like one of those little bouncers or something. Where's the thing they lay down on? Where did those go? Am I not? I'm not seeing it. I never use them. Do I not? What? Do I not? Oh, right here. I'm giving one to ease. I never use these. They'd have one. Alrighty, y'all. I'm sorry for traumatizing the comments about Mr. Burr, but I gotta skedaddle to class. Have a great stream. <laughs> Thank you for hanging out. Have a good one. Have a good good luck at class. Look at Clash. I like the little these are these are such good objects, these baby toy ones. And like look at their little the little toys they get to play with. It's a, a llama, a llama, a plumb bob, and a spaceship. Like how Sims like on brand it's just like so i just like them they're really well done very well done yeah the llama did see some things you're right um let's give a bottle to bradley and then put bradley in the crib he wants to hug his mommy he needs to stop being such a mommy's boy he wants to play with her? How are we going to play with her? What's this? Tell joke? Oh, I'm giving her the pillow. 
I want to have plum bob earrings like I'm sure they're they've got to be out there on the on the Etsy or the somewhere. Yeah, colors, mood changing plum bobs. Uh, okay, I've seen at least two people headcanon John Burr was homophobic, but sweet changing plan how husband hate the gays beyond. Yeah, I don't think so. I, think, I don't see that for him. I feel like he is wholesome dad. Like I feel like I feel like Johnny is. These two, I, I don't like the relationship between Johnny and mom. Him being such a mama's boy is a fun dynamic. Also, I gotta do traits too. But it's also like a little creepy. So what are what are what are traits? Let's place some traits out here. So let's do we'll start with Tiffany. So oh, she's very grouchy. Although it's interesting because her genetic personality doesn't match her current personality. So she's gotten grouchier over her life. And she's gotten a little more serious over her life. So that's kind of interesting. Let's see. I feel like she definitely needs, like, grumpy. Is this grumpy? Yeah. I don't know. Should she be, like, ambitious because of her wanting to live in the city? I don't see GB, GB as a hater of the gays. He gives me Gardner Himbo dad. Yeah. Himbo is a good one. I feel like he would be the type where, like one of his children comes out to him as something <laughs> whatever whether it's like gay or trans or anything and like he and he's just like suddenly becomes like so obsessed with learning about it that like he embarrasses his child <laughs> you know what i mean like that's that's john i think <laughs> hi dreamy <laughs> hello <laughs> so i have to calculate the shipping i order i saw some on etsy but what I have seen is not that great that I thought I should order. Okay. Surprised there's not some good ones. Came back and heard gay and trans. <laughs> the fact that genetic personality is a thing is wild to me. Like, do people not change over time? Yeah, it's interesting. It is an interesting concept. Y you're right. You're right, you're right. Uh, but it is also a good storytelling thing. What represents, like, over over controlling mommy i feel like dramatic she feel, i feel like she puts on the the theatrics whenever something doesn't go her way i feel like she's one of those um what else would she be brooding could she be brooding this is these are traits for tiffany o or over emotional hmm or she's kind of serious, so maybe no sense of humor? I don't know. I don't know what else she can have. Technophobe, because she owed. So, so here's the basic rundown if you missed the intro. So Tiffany is John Burb's mom. Tiffany appears in The Sims 1, um, where John Burb also appears as a child. Oh, I'm sorry your internet's being choppy. Also, uh, welcome back. Proper? Yeah, that's true. The traditional thing. Tiffany's current thing is that she wants to... Her husband died, and now she wants to leave... She's tired of lousy Pleasant View, and she wants to leave to the big city. And, um, she... But John is kind of keeping her here because he loves it here. And, um, the... So the situation is that Jennifer and John are not married yet. And Jennifer just literally just barely had their first baby as we started the, the, the household. Um, and apparently Tiffany nags Jennifer about like traditions and stuff. And meanwhile, J John's, I think John's, I need to read his bio. I wondered about Tiff moving downtown, but I have so many problems with downtown, technically speaking. I don't know. Um, so John was the most effective when his dad passed away. He promised good old Brad that he'd take care of his precious garden. Meanwhile, John wishes his mom would let him and Jen sleep in the same bed. <laughs> his mom does not let him and his fiance sleep in the same bed. That lets you know everything you need to know about this household. <laughs> Johnny is a mommy's boy, little hamster boy bitch. That's where we're at. <laughs> so 
Uh, okay. So what what else was this? Um, traditional for proper. John John and Jen get a tent tour. I just realized this this lot's really big, it's like way bigger. Yeah, how was Jenny? Pre That's what we asked. We're like, where did the baby happen? <laughs> how did that happen then? That I feel like I, I imagine the surprise of of Tiffany being like, you two are not married. You're not allowed to sleep in the same bed. And then Jenny's like pregnant, <laughs> and it's like. <laughs> Wait, I get a whole ass crate of energy drinks for free. They're like 0% beer with caffeine. Tastes vaguely like soap. I'm pretty sure you can't legally make energy drinks with strong... This strong anymore in Poland. Oh my god. That sounds scary. I don't like energy drinks. They scare me. But I also drink like... A lot of coffees a day. <laughs> yeah, photo booth. Or hammock. We, we said the garden. <laughs> Hand holding. Yeah, also please be safe. <laughs> it's a three hit taste. First taste kind of soap like, then a beer flavor, and then a strange soapy aftertaste. <laughs> no thanks, I'll pass. No thanks, I'll pass. Okay. Um, sorry, I'm I'm we're getting distracted. What do we say? Proper or discipline? I think proper works. So we just need one more for her. What else is she gonna have? Workaholic? She's a fortune sim. If you didn't count on John knowing where babies come from, yeah, she purposely did not teach him. Poor, uh, poor Jenny. <laughs> poor Jenny. Is bitch a trait? Because she is one. Yeah, that's the thing. That's why we did, like, dramatic, because I feel like she's, like, like I said, puts on the theatrics. Wait, natural-born performer? Because she's uh, a drama queen or a diva? Wait, there's also diva. I like kind of like diva for her, especially in this stage in her life. I'm thinking elf pop or wine coolers for the U.S. folks, but the bluey glass cup with my, my oh you're drinking with my straw. My partner got me for Xmas. <laughs> That's funny. Um, my parents wouldn't let me, my fiance now husband, share a bed while we visited them. Meanwhile, we were living together. Yeah, I've heard I heard of that a lot. But it's kind of wild for it to be at a level of, like, they're living there like that. I think I'm gonna... Yeah, custom bitch trait mod? <laughs> custom traits would be fun. Even if it was just, like, the they didn't have any mods connected. They were just the thing. Like, the little picture. That'd be kind of fun. There we go. We'll do that. That's her situation. Jennifer, meanwhile. Jennifer is... I think the first one for her is athletic. She wants to be a soccer star. Then, maybe ambitious. Um, I feel like Jennifer is good at standing her own ground, and she's gonna. This, there's gonna be some arguments. There's gonna be some fights in this household. What about rebellious? Maybe she's got a little bit of a rebellious spirit. The terrifying constant, frankly, but halfway through a can, I haven't died yet, so I think I should be fine. Oh God. Oh god. I don't know if, if if rebellious is right for her. I just kinda wanna choose these quick and then get to actually play in the video game. I guess I could have randomized them too and see what we got. Mom would definitely be the type of lady where you're arguing with her and then you don't you don't even touch her and she starts rolling on the ground and go, they need me help. Yeah, I know. She's on the she's on um the phone with the cops screaming <laughs> they're they're attacking me i feel like workaholic is good for her maybe she she could even though she's not a, a family sim i could do nurturing i feel like she could she's still like a good mom even though she's not a family sim um what else i don't let me look at her actual personality because i'm kind of just going off of her idea she has a pretty basic personality yeah, she's into sports. She hates politics. She hates perno. What's her? She likes her. She loves sports. She's just a sports kid. Hi, Sophia. How are you doing? We're playing some early strange view. We're in the early pleasant view side of things here, and we just started the burb household. We're just setting them up with their traits. 
Um, this is this is Jennifer Pleasant and John Burb. They haven't been married yet, but they have a baby. And then Tiffany Burb is John's mom. And then this is their new baby, Bradley, who he named after John's dad, Brad, in honor of John's dad, who's died. Technically, this counts as studying for my organic chemistry exam because I'm testing organic chemicals on my own body. Okay. I feel like John needs to have dog person. I just saw that one and I thought, oh, John. Oh, God. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Good. Charismatic. I kind of want to... I'm just going to give her rebellious. I feel like she's a little... She got a little spark to her. Maybe that's why Johnny likes her. She breaks the rules a little bit. She's not afraid to be... Uh, strong. Okay. So, John... Okay, how do we how do we choose what does the little hamster bitch get? <laughs> what what does little hamster bitch get? He's obviously green thumb and likes dogs. Uh coward, obviously. Um Hopeless Romantic is good, and then like maybe just family oriented. I feel like his were really easy. <laughs> I feel like his were easy. Forager? A collector? I could do that. That's this one. The gatherer? Should he be a gatherer? Mama, mama's boy trait? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I gave him green thumb. This one. Maybe, maybe family-oriented is too predictable. It's like he's already a family sim. He could be a gatherer. Produce the finest crops. Yeah, family-oriented... I feel like I feel like absent-minded would be fun for the himbo, the himbo aspect. Oh, hamsters gather! I see. Himbo John Burb, absent-minded daddy, <laughs> absent-minded daddy, absent-minded coward that likes dogs and plants. I think that's it. I think that's him. He's just. In, in, with his with his power bottom wifey that tells him what to do at all times. <laughs> That's Jennifer. What's he got growing in the garden? Cucumbers. Let's have him water many. I'm so minded daddy. Okay, stop playing with your mommy. John, leave me alone. I'm gonna spin this. I just want it to face that way. Oh, she's she's not interested in his conversation. She has no sense of humor. John, I wanted you to water stuff. Oh, she actually laughed. Oh. All he wants to do is talk to his mom. He he literally just had a baby and he doesn't care. Flip and crib. How do we feel about Jennifer's outfit? My defaults may have tweaked it a little. I like it by concept, but the two different browns are bothering me. Maybe a different top. Oh, she's got midriff showing. Let me just save real quick. <laughs> I think we're cursing John by associating him with hamsters because they always die in strange and concerning ways. I have everybody has weird hamster trauma. I do too. Is there an eggplant trait? <laughs> There's an eggplant. <laughs> he could plant eggplants. JB, eat, plump, and think of Jen. <laughs> plump. Okay. <laughs> What's plump? <laughs> yeah, stay stay in concept. At <laughs> yes, <laughs> you egged the plant. You egged the plant. Gussie up buy clothes every day. Frame hamster. <laughs> we need strange hamster trauma in early strange view. We nut strange hamster trauma and early nut give you. <laughs> Let's butt, please. Let's butt have mercy. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Never mind. I thought I messed something up. Oh, plump. Okay. Eat plump. I still am not clear. <laughs> Eat plump. Oh, I see. Oh, I missed it. Oh, I missed an earlier message. I missed an earlier message. He's absent-minded because he's always thinking of those plump, <laughs> those plump succulent harvestables. Yes, you're right. You're right. You're right. I get it. I get it. I get it. <laughs> I get it. Okay, let's find, maybe find the skirt she's wearing. I think my game's going to explode. My game is not handling things very well today. 
So we got some more thumbnails. I think everybody else's outfits are fine. Just hers is a little goofy. I feel like she might have longer. What does that mean? <laughs> Everybody's so perplexed. Everybody's so perplexed. You know, actually, I lied. I don't think she'll have longer. I think she's wearing shorter because she knows it bothers Mommy Burb. She's doing it on purpose because of Mommy Burb. She's going to show off as much skin as possible. But, like, also be business cash, business appropriate. <laughs> Tears from laughing. <laughs> oh, no. Mid maybe she maybe we'll lean into the midriff. She'll have like a cute little sweater moment. Why does that sweater actually kind of look good? Do kids these days even have hamsters? I feel like so many kids had hamsters. Wait, yeah. I don't know. What is the popular pet these days? Do kids have pets? Or do they just have their AI chat bots? <laughs> I don't know. Nope. That's technically like appropriate. Oh god, just the oh god, not just the vest. I have a hamster, just weirdly just weirdly cat shaped. Oh, okay. This is actually kind of cute because her skirt gets covered by like the, the top. So it looks like this is just like a short dress. That's kind of cute. I like the brown on her. I don't know that it's like businessy, but I mean like when she's home, she doesn't have to be businessy all the time. There's also like super fancy shirt. I don't think I like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's also this. Does any of these match? Because that's kind of fun. Little mini jacket. These aren't quite it. These aren't the vibe. I need professional. We need we need professional. Oh, we have more sweaters. We do have the sweater again. I kind of like the sweater. I don't know. Thank you for the lurk, Kobe. Oh, we have a little brown. <laughs> Maybe she just needs a different skirt. I don't know. That's not bad. Yeah, I feel like the sweater, maybe? Yeah. This is also kind of fun. A little, little bit, little bit of extra pop to her. That's interesting. That's not quite what we're going for. Oh, also a sweater isn't terrible. A different kind of sweater. The sweat her. Too small to be responsible for keeping a pet. Okay, yeah. The, the, this looks great. <laughs> Maybe I need more Sims with that. Give her a full-on fur coat. What's, what is this one? That one's fun. I don't use this enough. That's a fun dress. I'm adding it just for the heck of it. Ooh, look at this. Ooh, it's got boobies. <laughs> it's got enhanced boobs. <laughs> this, this, I think we need to pick this one. And then maybe a top, a bottom that matches better. Flares? Wait. She could be a pant. She needs a pantsuit. She needs a pantsuit. Wait. Do I have better flares? <laughs> boobies. <laughs> Well, we all agree we picked the boob shirt. The boob, I mean shirt. Oh, I have these. I forgot about these. What colors do I have? Ooh, I have... Ooh. Wait, look at this. I think that might be it. Hopefully it matches as well. Sometimes when in-game the colors are a little off. I do enjoy dressing my Sims. It is a very fun process. The only thing is my game is probably going to turn into a pink soup nightmare again after we're done here. I think I like these. Bit too much brown. You think like a really a black trouser. I would I would maybe say like a lighter color trouser. I always have a thing with brown and black. Because our hair is brown too. Yeah. I feel like that's a little bit of the, the character in some ways, but also 
I could see a... Oh, what's this? Wait, what are these? Oh, I see. I think this is actually what's made to match this suit. Hmm. I think this is made for this suit. I'm going to add that just in case, but I like the idea of pantsuit. We have those. Those are sneakers. That's giving, like, I feel like the leg, having leg, um, it cuts up, like, too much brown. You like the flare ones? I didn't know if those might be too casual or not. I was trying to find the other flared ones, but I'm, I'm kind of tired of digging in the catalog. I don't think they're here. They're these. We could do like a, these have like a, like a platform. I didn't know if those were the right move. What a green. The green's kind of fun. Green's kind of fun and funky. Or the white. I don't know. I'm seeing like gold. There's gold on the shirt. I don't like these, this color. I don't think jeans, right? Um, yes, I'm gonna make a boomer joke about kids these days only having iPads and no pets. Yeah, their pet is their iPad. I don't know. I'm gonna add a couple of these. We'll goof around with some of our options. I could do the- I mean, I think the black's not bad. Look at all the brown. She's like Jenny Smith, but brown. I left for a minute. There's Madonker. She got- she's- she's- we're looking respectfully. Okay. No more than personally though, but I really love them. Yeah. I, am I crazy or is the green ugly or is it cute? I feel like I guess the black in this looks decent. Does it? Let's see what it looks like in action. Hmm. I don't think it has the right look. Like I feel like she needs I think we might have to go with the matching skirt. Look at uh, business mommy. I think that might have to be it. I feel like the matching, the proper skirt with these, these shoes, I think that might be it. She's ready to fight. <laughs> She's ready to fight. Oh, her eyes are up here. Her eyes are, oh, she got pretty green eyes. I'm okay with her makeup. I don't feel like messing around with it. I had to sleep over my friend's house. Uh, left my bright lilac fabric coat when I was a scene kiddo on the floor and the corner was touching hamper skin. She shredded it up in the night. Oh no. Oh no. Fighting the air for us. So brave. <laughs> fighting the oxygen. She's fighting the pollution in the air. Here we go. Put away the child. Or actually put him in here. I don't know. Johnny. Okay, he does want to read about parenting, so I might have him do that. Maybe I should... Let's start drama. Oh. Oh, I thought this was an empty room. It's just like the top, but that's a good expansion zone right there. This house is very cramped. Uh, we might have to make adjustments over time. One punch at a time. The whole corner was gone in the morning. Oh no. The, Automod hate it. Automod, I don't know. I used to intentionally provoke my friend's hamster to bite me because I thought it felt funny. In retrospect, I was a weird ass kid. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> the literal definition of feral child. <laughs> that sounds like literally one of our Calicundian sims. <laughs> She likes the hamsters biting her. <laughs> oh no. Uh, let's argue. She's gonna, Tiffany's gonna pick a fight. She already doesn't like Jennifer. She's like Wom Rat nineteen. Yeah, her mother-in-law be polluting the oxygen, so she gotta punch it out. Yeah, we gotta we gotta f take care of mommy at the root. We need to. We need to. Oh. She says, I hate the TV. What are you kids doing leaving the TV on all the time? She says, That wasn't me. That was you, old lady. I don't. I've watched TV. Go, go, go. Go out in the world. I hate the world. Or maybe I don't want to leave. Maybe that's her yelling about, I don't want to leave. <laughs> Who is fight mommy instead of air? Why do you hate. Why do you love balls so much? I don't love balls. I hate balls. I don't play. I don't play volleyball. I play soccer. <laughs> See, she says, "Look, I." Oh, that was an autonomous poke. They're fighting in front of baby Bradley. Fighting in front of baby Bradley. What's she gonna do? She's gonna go. 
Wait. <laughs> Wait. She said, oh yeah, old lady? Oh yeah, you want to poke me and scream at me? I'm going to screw your son in your bed. <laughs> She said, "You wanna, you wanna play around with me? <laughs> just you wanna play around with me? <laughs> That's so funny that that just happened. Oh no! Also, what is this room? Look at this fascinating walling. What? Okay, wait. What is? You're gonna okay, die. It looks up like there. I'm Katya. <laughs> <laughs> The way that that sound works so well. Uh, thank you for the marker also. That's a good idea. Um. <laughs> slurp, slurp, slurp. <laughs> I ate that one. I could chop off the slurping. <laughs> good for Jennifer. But so it's interesting. I wonder, is this like what Brad? Did Brad have it decorated? Like, look, there's a painting behind. And there's like a little bit of old carpet left. And like this, is this, that makes me think of like John's baby, like John's, John's room, but maybe it's Brad's room. Maybe that was like Brad's decor. It's interesting. And she's like made it over. For situations like these, the slurp is good. Okay. Oh, there we go. About to make a baby. Why is she getting in and out of the tub? She's like, I, I can't, I can't handle it. What is the, wait, what is this? What was that? She just lost something. Did the dog do something? Uh oh, visitors have arrived. Oh my God, these trees. I might have, okay, who we got? We got Ichabod Spectre, Joy Desperate, and Osiris Moenda. Okay. You know what? Let's greet everyone. <laughs> Yeah, she took her son's room. That's the thing. I can't tell if it's her son or her husband. Her dead husband. Which was even that, oh, the sound? That was, um, there's a new sound I added, which is, you're gonna die up there. <laughs> you're gonna die up there is the one with the slurping. I mean, desperate? How very dare she? Yes. She She's, uh, the live-in butler for the goths. Joy is. Can we, oh, no, wait, let's chat. Here we go. <laughs> yes, Juno Verge. All right, you two fooling around. Oh, I have to run dumb ads. I have to run a dumb ad in a minute. Who's the baby? Oh, the baby's over here. I think she should, uh, also, to, to spite her, her... Mother-in-law, she should quit her business job and get the, the, um, the athletic career. A joy to be around. The bed is going to be sticky. They, you know what? That's Jennifer's plan. That's Jennifer's plan. Athletic career. There we go. Okay, we scare her to death. <laughs> there we go. No, I should have. I should have. Oh God, look at her fighting with Joy. She's being mean to Joy. I'm gonna run ads for a minute while we just kind of goof around here. Now, also something else to remember: the reason Ichabod and Osiris are here because Ichabod divorced Olive and moved to Pleasant View and took the kids. Which. Um, another reminder, Osiris is our nervous subject, but we gave him a real name. Mr. Nervous here. He's a cool kid. As she should. <laughs> Joy escaped the clutches of Juno, yeah. What are you going to do? Hold youngster. She's going to go try and take the baby away from Jennifer. Jennifer's got to breastfeed. She's probably like, you're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. Let me do it. Oh, no. <laughs> She's breaking. I want to make them argue again. <laughs> I'm going to let them just do their thing. What's she doing? Play fetch? I don't think you need to play fetch. What else can she do? What, what does an old lady do with her time? Watch TV. What's her hobby? Cuisine. 
Well, yeah, have you seen the woman? She hates all joy and fun. <laughs> yeah, she's just kind of staring. She's escaped imprisonment. <laughs> Imagine over the ultimate overbearing mother in law. I love this. Yeah, it's kind of fun. We gotta, I think she needs to die. <laughs> I think she needs to either die or be cast out into the townie pool or move in with somebody else. Here, you want to answer the phone? Where are you? You're up here. Just put Bradley away. She needs a place to do her sports. She needs a big soccer thing. Go to some of these damn trees. Kinda, I just, I don't know. They're just in the way. I like the concept of the trees. But in action, I'm not loving it. We got all this space over here. Sleep or not to sleep? Tis the question. Sleep is always good. Sleep is always good. I gotta probably flatten some terrain here. There we go. Tim is lying. Sleep is lame. No. <laughs> falling asleep. Oh, yeah. If you have a hard time falling asleep, thank you for the hydrate. Disgusting. Sorry, I was reading up in chat. <laughs> Um, let's see. There we go. Put the baby away. Who's walking by? Oh, you? you oh, you. Who's you? Some random. Zombie plus ADHD ganging up on me nightly. Oof. Oof. Dreamy role-playing the devil on the shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> so I feel like early PB and Michael Bachelor got abducted by aliens. Whoopsies. That's predictable. Honestly, I'm surprised ours didn't get abducted. He ended up adopting alien babies, though. But it seems right for him to be abducted. Your psychic advisor. Oh, no, I didn't read it. It said something about psychic advisor having strong vibrations. Ugh. My Sims never, like, play for a long time unless they're playing with someone. I guess she's, she's hungry. What is that? What are you... Miss... Wait. Miss this object? Miss this object. Somebody... Let's look at their memories a little bit. Maybe I need to look at memories. Candle? Who Did somebody come in and steal a candle? I don't think the people came, like, in our house. Did the dog chew something up? Maybe the dog chewed something up. She looks like she fell in love with John during college. Um... Diane and Jet, her parents died, and then she woohooed with Johnny Boy and moved in. She got her job, she got engaged. Brad died. Interesting. Snuck out with John as a teen, so they actually they knew each other as, as teens. This candle in the room with us? <laughs> I actually don't see that unless they got robbed or you sell a big ticket item like a fancy car. Hmm. Huh. Where would there have been a candle? That's a weird thing. I'm just seeing it. Do we have any memory of, of theft? Okay. Had Johnny boy. Well, quit job. Oh, she lived. She was in the sax. Oh my God. Slacker career. Yeah. Some weird leftover stuff. Maybe it doesn't really matter. John got engaged is a bad memory. And John Jennifer joined the family is also a bad memory. And then Brad died. Interesting. That's interesting. Maybe, yeah, like we can make up lore like maybe, maybe mother-in-law does not let her have candles. Maybe Jennifer like likes candles a lot and she uses them to, to re re calm herself after a long day playing the soccer. And, but Tiffany says, no, I hate the smell of the candles. They give me a headache. You're not allowed to burn them. Yeah, I don't see any like memories. Yeah, she's like the, the, the candles are the the candles are the candles are the devil's work. You're not allowed to burn them. You know what? I I kind of feel like we need like an archway here. What if? Do you think I could like? Could I make a spiral staircase work a little? I don't know. 
Oh, they're fighting. It's just a really tight house. Maybe that's where taking this down a notch would help. They're fighting. Girlies are fighting. John doesn't- John's- meanwhile, John's oblivious. He just comes in and says, I made hamburgers, girls! <laughs> I got hamburgers! Not him- <gasps> he served his mother's hamburger first before his wifey, who- How dare he? How dare he? <laughs> Johnny got them patty buns. Dog just peed in the house. John knows but pretends he doesn't. Yeah, John's John does not have the emotional like maturity <laughs> to have a conversation with them. I'm gonna I need to have him study parenting. He's on un, he's unemployed, yeah. The only person employed is Jennifer. Yeah, it's the dog peed on the floor. Dog also am I I kind of want to tweak this dog's colors because, like, I think my defaults goofed it up a little. So he's supposed to be a Labrador, but he kind of doesn't look like one. <laughs> the dog's gross. I'm going to buy the dog one of those other um, chewy toys that help his hygiene. Oh, there's another dog walking by. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He says, he's talking about fashion? Why is Johnny Boy talking about fashion? Oh, the curly tail was a cute, cute little thing. Awkward silence. These two, she, she's trying to talk about fashion too. They're actually conversing? Thank you for the lork. Stray Shiba, yeah, it kind of looks like a stray Shiba in you. Ooh, have good uh, food. What time am I at? Oh my god, how did I blink and it's almost, it, we're almost halfway to five hours? How does that happen? How does that happen? <laughs> Don't go, I know, I'm just, that's what I was just thinking, I'm like... <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> back from picking my manager up. Welcome back. Okay. Now that you are filled up. Okay, should not take a shower. In this world, there are no Shivas. They'd probably be snatched off the streets. Oh my. Herb moldy. Herb Moldy. Dre Shibas. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, they're probably an expensive dog. John? John, what are you doing? Why are you walking in on her? John? I'm gonna have John do his studying. He wants to study parenting. It makes sense that he'd want that. I need to have him, like, max her out. Actually, I want him to get it from over here so he sits at the, the right spot, hopefully. Uh-oh, the baby scram. Tiffany, Tiffany, I feel like Tiffany is so overbearing that she's like on, she's like, won't even let them have a chance to take care of the baby. She's like, I know how to do it. I'm, I'm the, I've raised, I raised John. I raised John. <laughs> Hi, Sensational, how are you doing? Okay, she's playing soccer, finally. The phone's ringing. Chaos. John decided to not read and instead take a shower. Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. <laughs> my my headcanon for mommy, derogatory, is that she's one of those mothers-in-law who think they're entitled to their grandkid every second they're born. Yes. <laughs> she, and she just, she thinks she knows everything and all of that. <laughs> I'm glad you're good. I'm doing good. We're having a fun, a fun night playing some early Pleasant View here. <laughs> Who's Colin? Isn't that a townie? Cassandra Howard. He's got two bolts. Uh, she's inviting him downtown. I don't think so. I don't think he's gonna go down. Johnny Boy is loyal. If he's anything, he may not be smart. Oh, there's something wrong. Oh, this, this. Okay. I'm just going to delete this because it's just like a lot, a lot going on in this house. I'm just going to do this. 
It's just a lot. This house is, is a lot. That's what his issue is. Good night, Danny. Good luck falling asleep. <laughs> Fall asleep. Fall asleep. Good night, good night. Thank you for hanging out. Oh, you're not allowed to sleep in that bed, ma'am. We, um... I want him to take... I want her to take the baby. She's gonna, like, forcibly take the baby and put her in the crib, if I can. Stop. I know it's raining. Somebody opened all the windows. Oop, not open all windows. Okay. Yeah, somebody literally opened all the windows. Okay, she's just going to bed. You just put the baby away. And go to go to the bathroom and go to sleep. I feel like after the performance today, she's gonna lock it and allow me only. She says, none of you little freaks are allowed in my room. Not allowed in my room. Nuke your beds. Okay, good night. Good night. Michael in my game has a want for Bella to meet aliens. Oh, that's an inch. That's a fun one. He wants he wants to get Bella Goth over there. Interesting. I like that. Johnny's studying away. He should have put the burgers away, but that's all right. I'm going to save. I don't know what I'm having for dinner tonight. Actually, I might know. I don't know what I feel like. Oh, everything got gross, Johnny boy. You're the house husband. You're the male wife. He gets abducted in the main story. Maybe it was him who got Bella kidnapped. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. That's kind of, That's a fun twist. That's kind of interesting. Because, like... Oh. Something just happened. I don't know what just happened. Is the dog... This dog is out of control. We gotta just... We gotta... Oh, he wants to get an architecture job? Oh, he wants to scold T Tucker. I do need him to, like, clean some stuff up. And he's pretty tired, so... Just don't do that, god damn it. <laughs> don't do that. Belagos is my Roman Empire, to be honest. That's funny. Oh my goodness. Yeah, maybe he maybe he he knows things. Maybe he knows he knows the future somehow. Specifically Sims to Bella, I get that. Yeah. The later Bellas, not so great. Not a big fan. Like, Sims 3 Bella is fun. But not a big fan. Um, Sims 1 Bella is, like, iconic. But she doesn't have a lot going on. That dog is literally just, like, pooping in her house. Did he pick up all the plates? Yeah. Can you please scold dog again? He does have a fear of Tucker running away and getting sprayed by a skunk and chew. Why does he has a fear of Tucker chewing an object? Don't go into the dark. Why is she in? She's Tiffany's in the room, like taking the baby and stuff. Like she needs to let go of our baby. Okay, we're gonna actually try and go to sleep. Uh, he's like, he had to make sure we he 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 swooned his his hot fiance before <laughs> before he goes to bed. Somebody needs to make a creepy pasta of that. <laughs> I'll make a I'll make a uh, <laughs> a good um I'll make a I'll make a um <laughs> a little video game a little walkthrough cheapy <laughs> like You're indie video game. I'm Katya. <laughs> Just move out and get a puppy, so maybe she'll leave the baby on maybe. 
Sims XE. Sims EXE dreamer. Huh? Tiffany is the grandma who loves her grandchild and hates that they dro po popped out of their dad in law. Oh boy. <laughs> Are you reacting to the sound again? Sims 2 EXE has stopped working. What is she reacting to? Wait, did I delete something that she was mad about me deleting? Oh, she wants to play soccer and get a promotion. So she's already level two. She's already got the skill she needs. Well, that's cool. Where's the baby? She's just holding it down here. She's like literally holding, she's actively holding the baby hostage. Like, lady? Can I help you? Like, what the hell? Catches me so off guard. <laughs> Funny. It was the sound I had before, but I didn't have the full clip. I just had the, you're gonna die up there part. Um, a sensation last night. I drank iced, co iced chocolate plus an espresso shot. Ooh. The other store... I ordered. I could drink it and I was fine. But this coffee shop, I think they use fresh kind of coffee. So it was too strong for my liking and I felt too awake. I don't know how to... Yeah, like you're too buzzed or something. Now I have to wait. Interesting. Iced chocolate. That sounds kind of yummy. And so it's almost like... Is it sort of just like a chocolate milkshake? Or is it a little different? I feel like I've had something like that. Something similar. But I don't know how to describe it. So, like, what am I doing with you? You want to serve food. Here, why don't you serve breakfast? It's literally 4 a.m. Or you could cook. You could read cooking skill. Or you could... I don't know. I don't know what to do with you, lady. Maybe she needs to subscribe to a magazine. False. Is it service? I don't know. Is that the thing at Duncan? Yeah, that's where I've had it, is that Duncan. Frozen hot chocolate, yeah. It was years ago, though. What is the "You're gonna die up there" audio from? It's from um the it's it's there's there it's fr um what's the I don't know how to say the the name of it, <laughs> but it's it's Trixie, Mattel, and Katya, uh, other long last name who are two drag queens who have like a little show that a little online show that they do. And they'll do like little, yeah, that one. <laughs> that one sensational wrote. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and um, yeah, they do they do little clips. I should I should show you the actual clip so you get the context. Mate, well, at least the little the little bit. Because they, what what they'll do is when they like start the show, they'll do like a bit where they say something and then they'll say their name like I'm so and so. And that's just apparently what Katya came up with at that moment. How do I get, how do I subscribe? Is it through the newspaper? I'll just read section. Um, <laughs> yeah, all I have to do is type it in and it's... I don't know that this, this is the clip that I downloaded, but I don't know that this is gonna give a ton of context. <laughs> this is Katya. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, like, cold chocolate. Like, it's like when you make a hot chocolate, but you put ice in it. Interesting. So maybe it's like, it's like they make a hot chocolate, and then they ice it down. The reshade is reshading today. Yeah, it does look pretty... I should probably pause while I'm doing this, just in case. But that's literally... She's just... Hold, she has a... It's just supposed to be cursed. Like, that's literally it. <laughs> that's it. Like, that's... That's, that's it. That's it. <laughs> it's it's just meant to be un unsettling. <laughs> that's 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 yeah. I don't know whether I could probably find the full episode and post it. <laughs> Expect nothing less. I go back to Katya. <laughs> I was gonna say context, but I don't know if context really helps. Yeah, <laughs> it's. 
I feel like yeah, it's just like it's an older episode now. I don't know how many years old it is, but that's kind of just the it's just them being stupid. That's that's really all it is. <laughs> oh, Trixie and Cody, amazing life. I took my sister for their birthday. Oh, for her birthday last year. I feel like what am I hearing? What are you doing? You better not be pregnant again. Oh no, you're just mad. Okay. Yeah, I feel like they'd be fun to see live. It's good. A bit less sweet than my liking. Okay. I mean, it sounds good. Like, I could go for that right now. But I'm kind of hungry, so I can't go for anything. Okay, we're gonna play with the dog. Okay, so she's just chilling and reading her little, her little thing. I've seen Katya alive. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. Okay, I don't know. We're kind of in chill zone right now. Like, do we have any ideas for... Like, do you think she sh should should Jennifer tr orchestrate Tiffany's death? And how would she? <laughs> Equal Katya, yes. Good, uh, a bit less sweet than my liking. Oh, I see. Uh, I meant the lady eating the chicken. <laughs> but frozen hot chocolate sounds good, too. <laughs> Not chocolate flavored milk though. It's the cocoa powder. Yeah. Condensed milk, hot water. Okay, so let's have you answer phone. I think John's just gonna wake up here. Cuddle Bradley. Is he smelly? Yeah, he smells bad. I think John's goal today is to learn the parenting skill. <laughs> lady, also lady eating chicken as well. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany. Yeah, sure. Jennifer apparently answered. Okay, she's really eager to go to work today. Um, How about she just has like a little cereal? I don't think she's really that hungry, but we'll just have her like have a breakfast to do something. I'm eating shrimp tacos right now. My husband made them way too spicy. My mouth is in pain. Oh no. I'm gonna have to make myself some hot chalky. There you go. Maybe that's what I need to do is make myself hot chocolate tonight. Okay, he's eating. Johnny's taking care of the baby. Okay, we're gonna put the baby back. Are we putting the baby back? You can go to the bathroom and then serve breakfast. How about we serve some pancakes? Chicken lady. <laughs> Chicken lady? <laughs> yeah, if, you, if you're curious, she was talking about the clip I just showed on, <laughs> on screen. I, I was <laughs> meant for words arranging in backwards as a joke, okay. Lady chicken? Butt spot? I was nut nut for words arranging in backwards. He wants to hunt buggies. He gotta go catch some bugs. Go catch some bugs. I gotta, I gotta, um, uh, thank you for the lurk cursive. I'm, um, what are you doing? Feed baby. You know, that's fine. We can do that. I had fun last night. Um, I've never had anybody visit my Animal Crossing island. And I had Chuby be my first ever visitor on the Animal Crossings ever. Lil Chuby came and visited, well, just for a second. We were trying to figure out how to be friends in, in Animal Crossing. We didn't 100% figure it out, but it was kind of fun. I thought maybe more often when I'm messing around on Animal Crossing, I could just like post in the Discord that my gates are open. <laughs> and just post a dodo, anybody who wants to come say hi and like gather stuff. I'll friend you on AC. Okay, I, did you see in, in the general chat in Discord last night, Everybody was, like, sharing their friend code for Switch. But I guess the way that it works is you have to, like, visit the island to be able to be, like, friends in-game. Because then I think once you're friends in-game, you can actually, like, send each other little letters and, like, stuff attached to the letters. Like, little presents and stuff, which is kind of fun. But I was purposely, like... Um, okay, you need to stop feeding the baby. I've been, like, whenever I'm fishing or doing stuff, I was kind of keeping the extras and then I was going to just make like a little section on my island for like random fish and like items and stuff and then anybody who visits who like needs things I could just like say take some that'd be kind of neat 
just like a, a give a, either either like a give and take or, or a little section or something hi jack oh my god words hi jack <laughs> i just smashed all my words together oh jackson why did i i, I read that as Jax on zetch <laughs> jackson <laughs> yes hi hi ocean and yes this is early pleasant view so it was created um by Guto Simmer, which I have, I have a link to their early Strange Town, which is how we we originally started this save by playing early Strange Town, and then down the line I added early Pleasant View on as like a sub hood. So this is technically an Uber hood that we're calling early Strange View because it's both. Um, but yeah, we're playing the early Pleasant View side right now. It's supposed to kind of be early Pleasant View when you start it. It's supposed to kind of be like in the nineties ish. And um, this this household is the Burbs. It's it's Tiffany, who is um, John Burb's mom. So Tiffany Burb, and then John Burb, Jennifer Pleasant, because Jennifer's not married yet. And then they just had a baby we named Bradley. Tycho is inter It's an interesting choice to name the bachelor kid Tycho. John. 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 Um, okay. I would like you to clean up. Uh, yeah, just do macro clean. Do you clean up the messes or not? No, you're not gonna... I hate how they, they don't automatically clean up the plates. I have a macro clean. Why don't you... Oh, she was supposed to go answer the phone and she just didn't. Honestly, that's on brand for her. She's like, oh yeah, I'll talk to them. Okay, one sec. Let me put you on hold. And they, they got this, her, the person on hold and she just never answers them. So it takes place after The Sims 1, yes. Kind of a little bit after, in this world right now, um, Tiffany Burb, the, fa the father Bradley, is passed away. And Tiffany's like ready to move away from Pleasant View, but John doesn't want to and she kind of doesn't want to leave if John won't leave, which is weird. There's a weird like... He's kind of a mama's boy thing. Pluto's a cute name. Pluto's cute. Or what was it? I had a rabbit named something like that. Let's maybe it was Pluto. Started with a P. Maybe oh, it feels like ten years post Sims one. I could see that. <laughs> you, John. I knew you were that girl. <laughs> John's just a just a himbo hamster man. Hamster mama's boy. Hamster mama's boy. Also, why is he so tired? I'm going to give him a little bit of energy. And he needs to come out and tend his garden. I'm also going to delete this random plant that's like sitting out here. I don't know what this is. I don't know why it's there. Okay. I'll have him do his gardening. I kind of wish he had the green sweater on, but I also don't feel like changing it. But it feels on brand for Johnny Boy to have his green. But I don't know if the red sweater is like a reference to his uh, his outfit in The Sims One as a kid, because doesn't he? He has that little. Uh, well, that's because in in The Sims One he has that like is it the overalls little outfit with like the jean and then the red and the, like the cap. I think I might be wrong. Uh oh, you keep sleeping through stream notifs. Hi, Don Alone. How are you? How you doing? <laughs> We're playing early Pleasant View. We're in the Burb household. Hope you had a good sleep, though. Sleep is important. But yeah. Um, what's what are you gonna do? You're going to the bathroom. Maybe she'll sleep. She's just kind of being a old lady. An old lady. Pluto or oh, I'm debating between between Pluto or Astro. Hmm. I like Pluto. Not as important as stream. <laughs> we should have a backstory where John's mom is secretly trying to kill son, this, his son's wife. Yeah, I think that. You know what I think? I think that. So maybe Jennifer and 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 Tiffany are trying to kill each other. I think that there's like they're secretly want each other because I think I think Jennifer should be trying to kill mommy in law. And then maybe either mother-in-law might actually just be trying to like split up the pair. Like, how would she do that? Would she like, what if she's like, I want you to marry this other nice girl in town. 
Like, who would she... Like, that one lady called. This this Howard girl? Cassandra Howard called and tried to get John to go out with her? Maybe that's maybe that's something Tiffany orchestrated. Like, she's trying to, to tempt John, although she doesn't actually know. She hates Jennifer. She hates Brandy. She hates Jason. She hates William Bradley. She hates everybody. The fact that she hates Brandy broke? Terrible. Daniel, who else does she know? She knows Darlene's married. Joy? Joy Desperate is single. Delagoth, obviously. All of Spectre's technically single now. She's sleeping right now, but maybe she'd like talk to Joy. She's heard about Joy, the new young thing in town. Something like that. <laughs> Sammy's gonna download a murder mod to kill Tiff. Honestly? Honestly? I heard olive oil hopping down. Um, do you want to come answer the gun? Oh, I forget there's one over here, too. There you go. Look at your nice little Gardon. This cute little Gardon. Oh, it's Darlene. Hi, puppy. What are you doing? What are you doing, Smushy? Smushy puppy. Uh-oh. He said, you want to meet someone new? He says, no, I growed up. I growed up, Darlene. I like, just like a constant fight to try and find someone else for her little baby boy, and Jen has had it. I'm living for Yeah, I think that would be... Oh, he's, he's talking about... He looks disgusted as they're talking about kissing. Okay. Interesting. I feel like that could be taken. Like, why are these women calling Johnny? <laughs> he hates politics. <laughs> I like eagles. I like nature. Why does Tiffany remind me of my babes, mom? Oh no. Oh no. My condolences. <laughs> my condolences. Rats. He's like, I would. You're a rat. And a, and a bug, actually speaking of which, he wants to hunt for bugs. No, he's he, he's talking about his special interest, which is bugs. I don't have any more hot chalky. Prime. Oh, he's bonding? He's bonding with Darlene for who he has two bolts. No. Okay, these two are chatting. She's sleeping. She's pretty much... Sorted out. She's kind of a boring little character, you know? She's kind of boring. This is also facing the wrong way again. <laughs> Johnny is living the Daniel Pleasant, what the life Daniel Pleasant wants to live, with a bunch of women asking him for dates, and John's just like, ew, I have a wife. I have a hot soccer wife. Like, she's literally a soccer mom. No, I mean, like, she's literally, she does soccer professionally. She's just, she, yeah. Please leave me alone. <laughs> He's hunting for bugs. He he caught a Ringo beetle. A Ringo beetle. All right. Maybe she needs. Maybe we need to take Tiffany out on the town scouting for partners. Blue feather wing butterfly. John Burb is over here playing Animal Crossing. <laughs> Why is John Burb an Animal Crossing villager, though? Oh, wait a minute. Why is John Burb like generic Animal Crossing villager <laughs> running around catching butterflies? <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Also, wifey's home. Welcome home, wifey. Wait, hold up. <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> Trihorn Greaves beetle. He's catching all the beetles. He like literally has the hair and everything. <laughs> he's got the he's even got like the pudgy face. Because they gave him like a little chubby face in this. <laughs> like not really chubby face, but jowls. That's funny. Okay. How about I'm gonna take mommy out on the town. Go to a local community lot. We're not gonna play Razzle with the dog. You go alone. Maybe I should have taken Tucker and her excuse is that she's going on a walk with Tucker. Uh, she's going to go to the pool. She's going to see if she can find any good looking ladies for her son to be distracted with. I hate Tiffany. 
a, a raise. A, a, let's, let's see a, a set of hands, a raise of hands. Who uh, who hates Tiffany? <laughs> Any Tiffany haters in town? <laughs> Any Tiffany haters in chat? I'm a Tiffany hater. I'm a, I'm a proud Tiffany hater. <laughs> Pickle swag, a fellow, a fellow Tiffany hater. Or, or is Tiffany just misunderstood? Loud and proud. <laughs> the Tiffany haters. <laughs> Tiffany haters. <laughs> That's funny. Oh boy. I need to, I have a made over version of this lot that I need to plop down. This is just the normal basic plot. Who's here? Who are you? Summer? We just gotta greet. Um... Summer Langley. We just gotta greet all the ladies. <gasps> Wait, she wants to marry a rich sim? Wait. She wants out. Who it is? Willow Rosenberg. She looks at her and goes, oh no, I'm not giving that one to Johnny. This one looks respectable. Respectable young woman who is also thick, yes. Uh, the bow. I hate Tiffany. <laughs> I hate Tiffany. Let's see, can I... What can we ask? What are your... She's gonna interview. Do you like what you see? What's your sign? About interests. Let's see what she's interested in. Uh, is this random? She likes weather. Uh oh, she's not. She's like, oh, she says, I like the outdoor. I like, I like recycling. Who's this? Oh, Amarina Barber. That's gr That's Buzz's wifey. What are you doing? Who is a rich sim that she can marry? Is that Claire from The Sims One with the dog? This girly? I don't know. I don't know. So, oh, the redheaded boy. Yeah, he he was he was that looks like it's supposed to be Comey. Is this supposed to be Comey? Are you rich though? The way she bows. Uh oh, there's pink flashing in the distance. It's skip broke. Skip broke skip broke brought the brought the pink. Um how much money do you have? How much money you got? He's poor. He's only got one. He's got one simoleon. We gotta find somebody rich. Who's this? Jesse Lloyd. I know we can't skip the pink tonight. Something about it. I don't think my I don't think my Calicundia does gets pink as bad. There's not an upstairs, is there? Oh god, look at all the doors are pink. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, these two dancing together? Hello? We're supposed to be finding ladies for... Uh, these two chatting. Oh, okay, guys. Okay. What is, go what is this? Mommy's going wild. Mommy's going wild. Oh, welcome back, Danger. I think I sounded entitled or you're... Oh! Dreamer, how dare you do this to me? <laughs> this is your fault, Dreamer. <laughs> this is you. <laughs> I watch my ships out, man. I just want to say I wasn't serious. You watched them without me if you want it. No, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it, help me. it just got really bad really quick. <laughs> it just got so bad. Why is it so bad? Look at them all floating above the water. This is scary. I think I need a screenshot of this. That sound is so good for this. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know if- did the marker work? I can add my own marker too. Oh, there it goes. It made it. Okay. It worked. It worked from the command. Okay. We're gonna go home. Let's go look at the road. <laughs> the road is always the safe spot. 
This is your brain on acid. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> when I wake up with my heart racing, these are the last images of my memory. <laughs> oh no, I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Our our Lord will write, please. <laughs> what if what if I just what if we just start sending photos of the pink flashing to Will? Just we gotta we gotta get his email. We gotta get his personal email, and every time it happens, just hello, checking in once again, William. <laughs> Wanted to let you know <laughs> we have an issue. Okay, she's gone. Is it safe to look at the lot though? Is our lot safe? I think our house is safe. Our house seems to be safe. John's being an Animal Crossing villager. Also, welcome back, Dreamer. I am probably gonna get close to ending too anyway, so it's good timing. I'm having fun with this household, though. The baby is upset. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! The baby has no head! The baby! Not, not Bradley! Oh god, look at it go! Oh, I hate it! <laughs> No! <laughs> Bradley, how could this happen? Oh no! Okay, I think this is the game telling me time's up. Okay, you need to come and change Bradley also. I'm just gonna queue up some Bradley self-care. <laughs> Bradley needs some self-care. <laughs> Baby, is he caffeinated? He's so upset to have no head. Oh god, I just saw hands coming up the stairs. Oh, it's bad. Okay, I'm sorry. I know this is bad for eye strain issues. <laughs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. He said, okay, mid-sigh. <laughs> oh no. Off we go. <laughs> I think that's the you I think that's Will Wright telling us we've played too much today. Why is it this hood is causing me issues? It's weird. Uh, remember when we used to fear fire? How ignorant we were. <laughs> exactly. All right. Well, I'm enjoying this household, though. We'll continue it next time. Who knows? Maybe on Thursday we'll play some more of this instead of Calicundia. I don't know. I know Calicundia is probably the more popular choice anyway, but... <laughs> Behold, the pink soup has arrived. Shall we watch another Machinima? What kind of machinima are we going to watch? We we watched this one. We watched this one. Tragic Love? I like both hoods. <laughs> I like them too. I, I, we played a bunch of Calicundia last week. So it's like, maybe I need another another day. Another day for... I think... Is this little... I mean... I might have watched it. Tragic Kith. 20th Century Fox type intro is wild. Silent Hill vibes. Apocalyptic themed story with voice acting. Interesting. It seems like it could be. It's 13 minutes long. Could speed it up. This one voice acting for me is like top tier. I want. I love voice acting in the in the in um machinima. Empty World Part One. I, I'm intrigued. Also, this one's called All the Specter Strikes Again. This one seems kind of chaotic. Oh, and a baby. I have my, my thing up where I can see Olive right now. He slept. Belgoth the movie is supposed to be good. Um, are you a goth? <laughs> I, I come, come back in an opportune time yet again. Welcome back. Docu mockumentary. Of a life of a teenage boy. Also a different language, but has English subtitles. Hmm. Vicious, part one. Christmas Pleasant View story. There's so many options. We watched that one. I'm intrigued by the voice acting one. Let's, let's see what this one's about. If it gets like too boring or something, I can slow it. I can, I mean, I can speed it up, <laughs> not slow it down. I can speed her up. Okay. When was this made? 12 years ago. 2011. Okay. 
Enjoy the movie, The Empty World. Is this one like high quality? This one's widescreen. Look at her. She's widescreen. Are you ready for The Empty World Part 1? More Kardashian. <laughs> uh, oh my. Uh, they had the budget. They had a budget. <laughs> Oh, Tashio. Oh, okay. I feel like this one's going to be high quality. Voice X. I, I noticed it's... It says it's called... It's starring voice X? Is that like somebody who specializes in voice acting? Yeah, they went all out. Does it have subs? Does it? Oh, it does. A spooky. <laughs> I know, the ring around the rosy. It's a little bit cliche, but also interesting. Epidemic, the evacuation. Is this like post-apocalyptic? <laughs> oh, okay. Dramatic zoom in. Oh. Wow, this is quality. It's a little loud. I could turn it down. I never know. There we go. I'm happy to happy to adjust it. <laughs> Tomorrow I will scrutinize it. Yeah, what does that really mean? No, that was a good transition though. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Feel free to always let me know. I feel like there's a lot of big words being added in in a way that they don't need to be. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like things are a little wordy right now, but it's okay. Hey. What I love how uh, sir. <laughs> I love how like a lot of these they all the dudes always have like the same like shaggy hair. You know what I mean? Like, it's the same, like, emo boy hair. And also, yeah, is this a teenager? That's a good question, because that seems like that's the teenage... Can only teenagers do that? Trying to meet your word count for your essay for school. Yeah, exactly. Shower scene. Mark your... I know. We still haven't made a Machinima bingo card. We need a Machinima bingo card. There's things out there that it makes it easy to make it. We need them so bad. We really do. <laughs> we really, really do. What is those are those whales? Those are like I think those are whales. Is he underwater? Is he in a submarine? I'm yeah, I'm kind of confused. Why they need to show him naked? I don't know. Yeah, it's a trend to have that shaggy dude hair. The slow motion look out the window. Oh. Is she a test subject? The needles? Grandma? <laughs> Grandma? Yeah, a full setting. Yeah, that, I mean, that was a lot of work to put that, that little scene in there. That, like, backdrop.
<laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm sorry that I'm holding you against your will, but also, like, I'm kind of lonely, and I thought maybe we could just talk a little bit. <laughs> I also feel like I might need to speed it up a little because he's a little slow in the dialogue. <laughs> I know, like, let's see. Um, I could go this way, right? Let's try the 1.25 and hopefully it's not too cursed sounding. Uh, sorry I kidnapped you, but I'm lonely. But, like, do you want to, like, play Mario Kart? What is going on? This is so... This is wild. Like, why is this, like, teenage boy... That poor grandma. Uh... Big needle. Also, there was there was a trigger warning for needles. I know this is a little late. <laughs> She's opening her eye. What? This does not seem sanitary. Safety proceed. It's breaking. Him walking with- wait, but now he's walking like a young adult. Maybe it's just the choice. This is so scary. <laughs> this is like- I don't know, this is weird. The stroll, yeah. What is hat? what is come- I'm confused. Like, it's very, very, very well done, obviously. Like, he seems so... Like... <laughs> like, he has no emotion. The emotion does not exist. <laughs> the emotion does not exist. Yeah, him, him constantly going, yeah, the, the weird lip thing. You know, this is part one. And we're only like halfway through. But I, I mean, like, I like it. It's interesting. I'm just, I'm, I want to know what the hell is going on. Like, what's this little box he got? You know what I, you know what I've realized? He's like, he's, he's like, the male version of like the 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 Christ, Kristen Stewart Twilight acting style, let people make fun of all the time. Like that's kind of like he's giving like male Bella a little bit. Does that make sense? Did he just leave Grandma to drown in an implosion? Or yeah, I think so. I think he did. I think he did. What if they'll turn up to a real life short film? What a beautiful and accessible outlet for creativity. Yes, that too. That too. Like there's a lot that's gone into this. They've got really good CC, and obviously all of the angles are really good. They're doing, I mean, like, the shots and stuff. His goddamn, yeah, his lips are doing it again. <laughs> it's kind of like, I don't, I don't know what... Also, I forgot that I have this literally speed up, sped up. <laughs> yeah, like the dedication. Yeah. But, like, the fact that this is sped up and it doesn't really feel like it's sped up is always interesting. Like, you can hear it in the voice, but... Tommy McGuire and Spider-Man. What? Wait. <laughs> he said, 
he doesn't know if he'll survive, but that woman who I didn't know very well also, wait, let me go back a little bit. The woman will survive, but that woman I didn't know very well who has not spoken in a long time. What, what a, that's a very clunky way to describe your test, su my test subject has become silent forever. So she died. <laughs> but why? <laughs> Uh, also he said he spent a long time in the submarine which proceeded to implode now he's just like waltzing through the snow here yeah i don't understand like is this supposed to be like a nuclear winter maybe part two never happened one wait one of the kicker for this machinima the creator never uploaded again i'm speechless <laughs> i'm speechless Oh my god. That's wild. That, what, a, what a wild twist. Okay. Let's see. Is he on like... Is this Earth or is it like another planet? I don't know. Yeah, they probably did it all and they're like, nah. Or they, they got accepted, they finally got accepted into, like, film school. <laughs> and were like, uh -uh, I got better shit to do. <laughs> yeah, they grew out of it. She's going out into the winter. They never uploaded this particular machinima anyway. Oh, this particular one, but maybe other ones? Like, why? what's this box? What's... Those Sims 2 shoes, though. Wait, is this supposed to... Wait. I'm confused. Is this supposed to be, like, back in time when he found his test subject? Like, is that the test subject now? What else? Conjectured? <laughs> They're just throwing... They just went on to thesaurus.com and found whatever they could. <laughs> no, it's a different girly. The nose looks different, right? I'm confused. You're very feverish. Are you older than 22? Uh, sir? <laughs> Never ask a lady her age. Excuse me? Uh, it was uploaded in 2011. So, probably not. She would be the next person I've seen with my eyes to lose their love. Red flag. <laughs> Not of asking if she's legal. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> Free me. <laughs> you're 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 going to hell. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be life. Oh. I'll lose a love. I have to save her. Like, she doesn't give a shit, dude. She's just, like, on the ground half alive, and he's, like, telling her the whole story. I don't know what this man's talking about. <laughs> According to my relatives, are we going to hell? Ha! Ha! I have to tell her she may not make it, yeah. It, don't move. It will hurt a bit. I hate it. <laughs> You do not need men out here saving people by kidnapping them. Okay, I don't think this is the same person as, like, the lady he kidnaps. Nut, a nut of potential. Don't move. It's practically catatonic, yeah. You heard this other, this white actor? Well, it was interesting because it said starring voice acts. Voice acts. A-C-T-S. And I don't, I don't know if, like, they're somebody who specializes in doing, like, voice acting for people or something. Mm 
Okay. Also, this the, the, the tear makeup, I'm pretty sure is the exact one that I used on Vidkin. <laughs> I like that also that that sentence out of context. <laughs> but that's the that's the Vidkin tear makeup, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. That one in that emote, yeah. <laughs> emo Vidkin. Is she? Are you? Is she? What did you? What? She said, she said, did you hear me? And he said, yeah, you're lucky that you encountered upon me. <laughs> the writing is wild. She just wanted to be left alone. She wanted to die, leave her alone. Heal me. Oh, heal me. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Consider me encountered. Yeah, you're lucky you would. He encountered. A, I, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> It countered upon me is a wild way to put it. I I broke into your house and found you lying on the floor. I don't know why his lips are like that. We can be in danger. What is, I like this little like decor thing on the floor here. I keep seeing it in the scenes. It's just like a cute little thing. I don't like him either. You know, the, the permateers. Maybe they're frozen. Maybe they're frozen because it's so cold. Her warming her butt in front of the heat. Why is she so skinny? Why she got why she got a why why she got like a corset on? They're just, I love this drama just to think like they're actually just afraid of the cold. Like they're just, it's actually just the cold. <laughs> like it's just cold temperatures. Like she's like, actually I was born in Florida and I really don't like the frost. I hope she's older than 22. Yeah. wild oops oops i didn't mean to so so there was never sims 3 horror machinima that's cute that seems like it'll be fun Dude, i feel so encountered right now how dare you encounter upon me cursive how dare you encounter upon me on this day <laughs> okay Just kudos to xavier voice acts i see they're I love to work with this voice actor. He's so amazing. Yeah, so it's a spe specific voice actor. OMG, that was the best Sim movie I've ever seen. Yeah. I don't know. This was intense. The effects camera move the lighting. Yeah, I mean, it was very, very, very good. But, like, let me go to the person's page just for the hell of it. Let's see what, like, what they got going on. Literally, they have two. This is the trailer for it. This is the trailer for it. <laughs> 13 years ago and then 12 years ago. Well, it's at 11 on the thing, but. Or no, I guess it said 12. Anyway. <laughs> Wait, I want to see the machine. I, I mean, not the. I want to see the trailer to see if it gives us any hints for anything. Maybe that. Yeah, I was going to say film to get into school. Okay. The, not the AI. Not the not Brian. Wait, why is Brian here? <laughs> that's the name of the generic uh TTS voice is Brian, and that's what's playing. <laughs> it's Brian. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> Brian, this is Brian's early work <laughs> before he got the the Twitch gig. <laughs> Is that Garant? <laughs> I know I said that wrong. <laughs> I don't know what to say yet. Is that him? <laughs> An amazing story about substance and love. Or subsistence? Subsistence and love. Okay, I think it's mostly what we've already seen. I just wondered if... I wondered if it would have anything that was like... This kind of loud. I wonder if it would have anything that's like... We didn't get to see. Like that was kind of supposed to be part of the second episode. Maybe like we didn't see this, did we? Or maybe in the intro. Empty world. No context. Great. Coming soon. Yeah. Okay. Damn. Wait, this came out on Shellerie's channel a month ago, but I didn't know you were involved in this project. Do you think that it could have been uploaded on a different channel? Because it did say at the beginning, instead of the uh, uh, Atashio, see, it says the Celeries. Celeries? Wait, let me let me look them up. Let's let's see. Oops. Can I find them? Uh, there's a lot of silly rees. Sims 2, Machinima. Hmm. I'm not really finding much. Hmm. There's a website on his YouTube account, but it's to a page that no longer exists. Interesting. Wait, what? Are there any, like... Just pause it. There's no... Watch in HD. Hmm. We got... We got, I got I'm digging. Community. Yeah, there's some kind of page here. YouTube redirect. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> to go with the hubby and kids. Have a good... Have a good night, Rosanna. Thanks for hanging out. I'm probably I'm gonna end in a minute here too. Um I'm intrigued. More about this channel. Oops. Interesting. Interesting. The the mystery. The mystery. Dun dun dun. <laughs> we gotta do some digging. What if it is uploaded somewhere else though? There was nothing on the community tab. It said this channel hasn't posted yet on the community tab. Wild. Let me look at part. I'm just looking at part one again at the description to see if it doesn't say. Oh, down below it says Atashio slash Celia Rees. Copyright. Celia Rees. So I, I think it's the same person. Either they changed their name or maybe they do have another account somewhere. Yeah, Celia, Celia Rees. Celia Rees. Huh. Okay, I'm gonna sort by newest first comments. I know you can't see my screen anymore. There's something. Oops, I'm hitting the wrong thing. Okay. I can't find the next episode. Haha, -ha, the intro. Really awesome. I was trying to see if anybody, like, they replied to anybody. There doesn't seem to be, like, any replies. Interesting. But one comment just says, How could you make it look that cool? Question mark, question mark. <laughs> Interesting. We'll have to do some digging offline. We'll have to do some digging. Um, That's it for now. I'm gonna go. Uh, We have to kind of chaotic night with our pleasant view we had the the calientes and now we got the burbs um maybe i'll be back on thursday uh, like i said i'm not doing i'm not streaming tomorrow but i am streaming thursday and maybe depending on how i feel we might play more of early pleasant view instead of 
Calicundia. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Thanks for hanging out, y'all. I had a lot of fun. Um, yeah. <laughs> Nut it. Nut it. I need one more fortune. One more fortune before I go. Hi and bye, birdie. I have a nutting at two. Yeah, I have a nutting at six. It's 6.09. Sorry, I gotta go. Sorry, I gotta go. <laughs> gotta play music. Uh, this song that I'm about to play is called This This Conversation Is Over, College Rock Station. Guess what? This conversation is over. Starter nut check? Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. Goodbye.